Hello, hello, everybody. As we listen to the wonderful opening of this here Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explores the Sky intro, remember to stay hydrated. You can just love the music of the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games. amazing how much of just an absolute banger they made them. But, yes, we shall be continuing I Hear Adventure. Yes, there is the episode list of which we can play Bidoof's Special Wish if we so choose to. We're going to continue the main story just a little bit longer than maybe next time. We'll start off with the ep special episode I've never done the special episodes for this game. So even though I know, like, a few things of the main story, like, these special episodes, nothing, nada, not a single thing. Once again, giving thanks to the Expanded Sky mod ROM hack. The link to it is in the description this time. Well, for the live thing, I added it to the, the video. The, the VOD upload. Because credit is good. So credit to all the people who made the portraits and sprites, and for the individual who did indeed make this, like, expanded starter sky mod thing in the first place, because it's very nice. But yes, we are going to resume. We only, <laughs> we've only gone on three adventures, but we took down a criminal. It's just kind of funny that in the line of all the Pokemon will defeat over our journey, it begins with a drowsy, which feels amusing. But let's a go. We are here in our crew room, so let's go and do our morning cheers and see if I can remember the voices I've given these characters. And three smiles go for miles. Oh, okay, Pokemon, time to get to work. Hooray! And what work doth we be? Just normal work? Ah, you two! Let me give you your assignment for today. Look up jobs on the job bulletin board and the outlaw notice board. Do the list of jobs. That will do for today. Understood? No shirking your work, okay? Well, if you understand, get on with it! <laughs> get on with it! And we can listen just to characters talk. All right, Diglett! Time to buck up and focus! Let's do our best, Loudred! I completely forget what I gave him. Then again, I just kind of used a voice for the Pokemon detected. So I just completely forget. You call yourselves a wanted criminal? So you really can get things done. <laughs> of course, what you did is only what's expected of any exploration team. <laughs> and they just have this guy here with a cauldron. I'm getting dinner ready now. I'll ring for everyone when dinner's ready. Until then, keep at your work, please. You're making dinner at like 5 a.m. in the morning? I can only assume that's when Loudred gets us up. It's probably an order from Chatot. You have to get up very early so that you can do lots of work. What's that? You want me to explain how the job bulletin board works? Sure. Well, all right, let me explain. First, you want to stand in front of the job bulletin board, then press A. You can choose jobs you want to do by using the job bulletin board. You'll get a letter describing each job you choose. Those letters will show up on your job list in the menu. To actually start a job, you must use the take job command in your job list. Then you can do the job in the dungeon. You must use take job before starting a job or else you can't do it, even if you go to the correct dungeon. Which in-universe feels a little weird. The jobs on the board range from easy to difficult. The easiest jobs are marked with the letter E. The jobs get uh, progressively difficult from D to C and so on. Uh, if you're just starting out and you're unsure of your skills, you should start with the easiest jobs rated E. Pardon? Me? I'd never choose a hard rated C or anything like that. Yeesh! See that signboard on the left? That is the Pokemon Exploration Team Federation Q&A. It lists topics that you should find useful as explorers. You should take a look at it if you don't understand something. Well, there's just 
three Puccianas here. Interesting. So all you ran off the other day because you had to rescue little Azuril. By golly, I'm impressed that you caught yourselves an outlaw in the process. Yep, yep, I need to pick up the pace. Can't have you rookies showing me up. The three of us are the Puccianna brothers. We're Team Pucci. We stick to tracking outlaws. We chase and chase and chase our targets. Then we catch them when they're too tired to move. Disturbing. And I forgot to have chat up because I'm a fool. I'm sorry. <laughs> Evening indeed. I think uh, Lolo is a nice name for a Pokemon, but since it's Welsh name, it's pronounced uh, as Y. Ah, so yo yo. Outlaws are also ranked. They're the easiest in the E ranks. The criminals get tougher in D rank. They even get tougher in C and so on. We target only outlaws with C rank. They have bigger bounties on them than the ones with E and D ranks. There's a catch. Outlaws of a C rank are much tougher. We have to fight those crooks carefully, otherwise we could take a beating. And I wonder what this is. Apparently there's nobody here. Well, I guess we can... Well, first thing, Q&A. All sorts of information is written here. You can see what what's the Exploration Team Federation. Sure, why not? What is the Exploration Team Federation? Uh, it's the one that pains me about my name. <laughs> or one, yeah, one thing. The Pokemon Exploration Federation is a mysterious organization to which all excellent explorers belong. The Federation collects dues from guilds nationwide for producing items and badges used by exploration teams. The Federation also operates of a number of services for explorers. It's an indispensable organization for explorers. To put it simply, it's an incredibly great organization. That is all. Interesting. What's written here? We already know. How do I know what to do? How do I start a job? What's Explorer rank? Well, let's see. What's the Explorer rank? The Explorer rank indicates you're standing within the Pokemon Exploration Team Federation. An Exploration Team gains rank points for completing jobs. Upon earning set amounts of points, the team rank goes up. A team gets a new Explorer badge when it goes up in rank, but that's not all. You'll discover more benefits as you rank up. Finally, you'll notice that there is a footprint imprinted on the back of the badge. That doubles as a security pass for the guild. It lets you enter and exit the guild whenever you want. Did you know that? Those who are first starting out should work towards the bronze rank. And that is all. And I like that it ends with, that is all. Because <laughs> I have to explain to people. That makes sense. And hello, Twitch chat. We are enjoying <laughs> reading the Exploration Team Federation Q&A, because why not? How do I talk to my partner? <laughs> Uh, well, you see, you just turned to them. Is eating gummies a good thing to do? Yes, of course you should eat gummies. It boosts your IQ. Although the Spenda Cafe should also eventually come up, and I think I was told to save gummies for that, because that's good. When your IQ goes up, you'll gain IQ skills that help you while exploring. And that's why you shouldn't hesitate to eat gummies. Eat as much as you want. Specific types of Pokemon have a different favorite gummy. If a Pokemon eats its favorite, its IQ goes up much faster. It's great to eat lots of gummies, and it's best to eat lots of your favorite kind of gummies. And that is all. Why does that feel like it It was like a, a, a reading of a an ad for a candy gummy? How do I talk to my partner? How do I talk to my partner? What? Your partner's right next to you, but you can't chat? Just be brave and talk to your partner. Your friend will understand what's on your mind. Press R to talk to your partner. Your partner will never ignore you. Talk to your partner, especially if you're not sure what to do next. Press R and strike up a conversation. Your partner is sure to have useful advice for you. That is all. I can't believe it actually said that. Today they want us to do jobs that are posted on the job bulletin board and outlaw notice board. Well, let's look good, Neon. I like that that's actually a thing. Well, I guess we can, like, look them over, because it should be. Find Reviver Seed, Missing Pokemon. Sleep, <laughs> find Sleep Seed. Two different people want two different Sleep Seeds in the Drenched Bluff. Interesting. Because <laughs> I'm just like, like, no, the eyes pronounced as a Y. I like the name, but you know when you're just sick of explaining stuff. I can definitely understand that. Help in my Pokemon search. Oh no, that would be an escort mission. Hmm. Because this one is search for Duduo. 
And this one is Find a Reviver Seed. And I get Gravel Rock and and something else. I thought it was Geo Rock in this game. Hmm. Very interesting. Let's take a look at the Outlaw Notice Board. <laughs> there is nothing here at the Outlaw Notice Board! I guess the Poochiana brothers took all the jobs! They took my germ! Hmm. Da 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 da. Uh huh. Because it's mostly this. <laughs> Client, Starly. Objective, search for Starly. And I feel like it would be a. Bah, 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 an escort mission because it is helping my Pokemon search rather than look for my friend. So let's see. I'm trying to find Starly, an old friend. Please, my friend must be found. Hmm. Well, we'll go ahead and take all the jobs. And I should be able to access my job list anywhere. Yep, we can. And we'll basically see, like, how high up Drench Bluff is as a dangerous place. So long as it's not that... Oh, that's ten rules. Don't shirk work. Two, run away and pay. Three, smiles goes for miles. Four, once you immediately got longer at four. Once you put a job on your team's list, then you just take job. That step can't be missed. Five, restock your supplies and rations before heading out on exploration. Six, before you explore, try to think about the moves you should link. Seven, while exploring, don't you panic. Stay cool, calm, and never manic. Eight, helping all Pokemon in need is explorer's duty indeed. Nine, do lots of jobs. That's truly the key. You'll reach gold rank. Just wait and see. Ten, the money you earn is shared with the guild. That's the way our friendship will build. I would have would have been funny if it just ended at <laughs> goes to the guild. We take all your money. Hello, Corfish. Hey, hey, you're going out on an exploration. You can start exploring by going up this way. Hey, 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 you be careful. Hey, hey, if you're looking for adventure, you've got to go. Get, my, my brain's melting already. Get ready for whatever comes your way. I just want to see. All right, so Mount Bristle isn't terrible, so. All right, Drenched Bluff isn't Mount Bristle, so I shouldn't be too scared. Hello. Hopes and dreams. This is... Because I always want to do, like, a Winnie the Pooh voice for Spinda. But, like, oh, bother. Doing it is kind of difficult. Hopes and dreams. This is... What are you? Uh... Bu -bu oh, I was gonna, f let me finish my thought first, but like, uh, I'm, I'm, okay, just found my thought again, it just went away, my brain's going too fast right now, it's just like, what are you, a, a, a bear Yoda, it's like, this is hopes and dreams, ahoy, are you headed to the beach, well, would you keep an eye out for something if it could, recently, there have been bottles washing up on the beach, I should be doing a, a Mr. Krabs voice. But I don't think I could do it on the fly. It looks as though there's something inside those bottles. If yeah, that sounds interesting, you might want to look for bottles on the beach. Bottles washing up on the beach. Bottles with something in them? I'm interested. Sounds like they're only washing up now and then. Uh, whenever we head to the beach, we can look for a bottle. Sure thing, Silas. I almost forgot my friend's name. And there's one right here. There's a bottle here, huh? It looks like there's something inside. Let's take it. Ooh, another drenched bluff one. Hmm, but the delivery ones are, uh, this one's a delivery one. I think we need, because, like, it depends. If I remember correctly, Rescue Team was, I think, kind of decent, where if it's like, hey, uh, deliver an item... Usually that item could be found in the dungeon before the client, but uh, we'll take it anyway. Because that should be simple. And now we'll explore the village town, listening to this bop of music. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. First things first, I should probably save. I would like to save and continue. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -na 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 I just love the Mystery Dungeon soundtrack. I guess I'll go ahead and take my money. What voice did I give you? Welcome to the Duska Bank. 
Your bank balance is this. I'll take it all. Okay, here it is. <laughs> I look forward to your next visit. I don't know if it's because time's going out of control or not. No one can evolve lately. You know how Pokemon evolve only after certain conditions are met, right? Well, right now, no one can evolve no matter what. I've heard more and more bad Pokemon are appearing. They say it's caused by time going out of control. I think it's awful. I wish we could live in peace. Don't we all, little man? Don't we all? And look, the virus still over here! I would like to link my moves. We're the exploration team that delivers happiness. We're Team Glee. Hey, gang, where should we go exploring today? We're like a garden of flowers. That doesn't act answer Tokapi's question at all. I wish I could go to a pond. At least that kind of answers the question. Or like Guardian. My brain is going too fast, I completely forget what I was talking about. Let's see. What things shall we store? Uh, we want some of these. Definitely Geo. Because we need... Da -da -da. And let's quickly look at my job listings. Because the jobs are Sleep Seed, Find, Deliver Rost. It has a few meanings anyway. Ah, Guardian. And help in my search. I do believe that we shall at least somewhat be able to help the dude. Well. Well, first I'll need to see. Do we have a Rost Berry in storage? I don't want to store, I want to take. I want to take, 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 take. We don't have any Rost Berries. Dom. Well, maybe we'll find a Rost Berry, and if not, oh well. And we can carry 24 items. For some reason, I thought we could only carry 16 before. Who knows? Maybe my memory is just dumb. My memory could be bad. Ba -ba -ba -ba. And as always, or at least I say that, even though we haven't done it before. Oh, hey! We shall come here. So that is Sharkpedo Bluff. To meditate on where we will go next. The sea is so vast. It is indeed. Yep, we'll just go to Drenched Bluff, and if there isn't a Rost Berry, there won't be a Rost Berry. But, uh, yep, find two Sleep Seeds. And let's go. I mean, maybe there'll be a Rost Berry here. I've heard you saved that cute Azura from a horrible outlaw. For that, please accept our sincere thanks. Which I guess is fair enough. Can't exactly expect a guy to just give me a bunch of stuff. Mm, reviver Seed. Maximizes attack and special attack. Jesus. I'm going to buy another Reviver Seed. As just, I don't want to die. Sure, that means we can't buy the gummies, but I will get to gummies eventually. I probably should have looked and see. But then I don't even... Ah, to arrest a criminal so early in your career. You must be exceptional. It's hard to believe you've shown an exploration team, you've been an exploration team, for such a short while. Welcome to Kecleon Wares. Let's see. Uh, flamethrower. And then <laughs> Silas isn't a fire type. I don't think that would work. Quickly look at my items. So we have a big apple, a normal apple, two reviver seeds, and two orange berries, and our favorite geo pebbles. Well, let's put our money away and move along. Darn you, Electivire. I want to link my moves, even if that means they would all... Then again, I don't think I actually have that many, uh, like, moves that would do good linked, come to think of it. Let me quickly check my moves. Because I have Leer. Nope, Leer and Scratch would maybe do good. What about this? 
Hmm. So... Hmm. So I might not do fake tears, mostly because Leer and Scratch are, like, in the same PowerPoint range, but that is, like, a whole five less than Leer, which would... That's five less scratches that I could do. I just think it is the Pokemon I got and the personality from my save. <laughs> How's my day going? My day is going decent. Although I did uh, do the thing that I usually do where I'm like, uh, I'm going to write today. And then like five hours goes by and I didn't write. Meh. So, <laughs> but overall, not bad. Not bad. Went for a walk. Hmm. And the same thing with Silas. He doesn't really have moves that go well together. Hmm. Because maybe he could do an attack and then endure. Maybe? Gives a user the counter status. It returns damage from physical attack moves. I guess I could link endure and counter for him when the time comes. That way he can survive and do major damage to against enemies. But yeah, overall, day pretty good. Day pretty nice. Just feel like I should do more. Feel like I should do more. And now off we go to Drenched Bluff. Do, 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 do. Already a berry. So an Orton berry, not a Ross, but... I probably should have done a normal. Let's see. I'll scratch you. Damn it. Oh, yeah, I forgot. This is like... <laughs> this is a normal dungeon. It's not the scary dungeon. Things should be fine. Smack. And luckily it wasn't a... At least... I hope I activated all the ones I meant to activate. But yeah, it wasn't a... What's the word? Escort mission after all. It was just worded in a way that made me scared. And... Escort missions. I am fearful of them. Hmm. All right, murder. I mean, we were gonna murder him anyway, but this a little out of nowhere, Silas. Ooh, can learn a new move. And, oh yeah, we can also relearn old moves from Electivire. Force Palm! It's only 12, though, but it's a move. Inflicts damage on the target. It may also afflict the targeted enemy with paralysis status condition. A Pokemon with the paralysis status has slowed movement and is incapable of action. Mmm, that's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. Because mm. Endure with Counter would do so well. Mm, but Quick Attack is good for range. <laughs> Escort missions suck at high levels. Yeah, because they just... You have to basically bring nothing but Reviver Seeds, at least in the Rescue Team games, because they just get one shot. Because hmm. I don't want to get rid of Bite, because Bite is, like, a decent thing, can inflict, like, uh, that... Hmm. Oh, Hit Ratio and Power! It's normal physical. Inflicts damage. Because, mm. yeah, it's that... It, the fact that he can attack from behind me, like, in tunnels, that makes it really nice. But that power, though. And it also go. It also has stab with him. Because if it's a hard dungeon, the Pokemon can be weak. Yep. So let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five star for power. And only three... I'm sorry, Quick Attack, you gotta go. This is just too good. Too, too good. And... T -t 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 I guess... T -t -t Again, we can always relearn things at Electivire at some point. So, I say goodbye, Quick Attack. Hello, Force Palm. Oh, dang it. I'm a fool. Great! I leveled up! And you got a lot of uh, like special points. Now we move on. And stun Seed. Throw a Stun Seed at an enemy to stun it, making it unable to act until it is attacked. Beware, eating it will stun you. Yeah. 
Oh, hey, it survived. That's not what I meant to do. I'm a fool. How dare. Oh, yeah, but I forgot all I have to do is use a single move, and then I get the experience bonus. I believe. Is this one of the seeds we doth need? It's just another stun seed. I think it's... I can't look at, like, missions mid-mission, can I? Eh, oh well. How dare you! A big room with nothing in it! My favorite. It's my favorite room in all of rooms! Just a lot of empty rooms in here. Oh, you bastard! Try to constrict all you want! Uh, wow, you have terrible luck. Goodbye, friend. Drenched bluff. I do not want to leave. I want to continue. Oh, and it's not even a deliver a item. It's just find the item. That's actually super cool. I don't have to, like, uh, super worry. Get out of here. Get out of here, Shadows. No one loves you. That's why you're here in the dungeon. Your family didn't love you. And that's why you've been locked up here for generations. You're ancient, Shellos. That's why you're frail. Uh, so if this ROM hack allows more Pokemon, does it mean that they also spawn in dungeons? I believe that one of the updates, I believe, was listed as saying that it did change one dungeon to have, like, yeah, the, the new starters spawn there exclusively. I think that's what they did. But I'm not totally aware. You try to astonish me, but I find you quite plain. Yeah, I just kind of glanced at some of the stuff and, like, none of it kept. For I am a fool. Reach destination floor. I do like that it lets you know. Make gone. You monster. Oh, 69. Nice. He's just here for murder. Again, I love the fact that Silas is like, Oh no, I'm a very scared dog boy. Immediately in a dungeon, becomes a feral monster, ready for murder. How dare you try to scratch me. You are a monster and shall die. Found the Starly. Get out of here. Thank you. I'll see you at the guild with your reward when you return. Interesting that you actually have a sprite. I would not like to leave. You want to continue exploring? Yes. And again, for all the people watching, if you are watching on YouTube stream, you can find a link directly to this ROM hack mod in the description of the YouTube stream and YouTube video uploads of this stream. Go give them nice happy times and thanks for all their work. It's very nice. <laughs> ah yes, you hardened so much you still died and were hit. Ah shit. Maybe just, maybe just passed along for that miss. You leave that seat alone, because I think that's the... Oh, no, I think it's like a... Uh, let's see. Uh, it was definitely not it. Oh, no, it's an Orin Berry. How dare the Orin... Alright, sure. Bastard, you must now die. For the sins against your family. It just immediately went back. Like, like... <laughs> like everyone... That poor Pokemon walked into a room. I'm going to get rid of that uh, debuff while I'm there. Actually use strategy. Be a smart boy. Yeah, that Pokemon entered a room, immediately forgot what it was doing there, and went right back to where it came from. And we've all been there. Just an empty room.
die. Oh yeah, you're the Rostberry guy, am I right? I don't have any Rostberries for ya. I might as well talk. Mm, yes. <laughs> There's nothing to deliver. Why are you even in here for a delivery? Why, can, why wouldn't you just stay in Treasure Town waiting for delivery? If I was smart, I would back up so Silas could do some smacking. And then the evil Pokemon would follow me into attack range and, like, nothing would be lost. But I'm a fool. I say, I'm going to do strategy, and then I look at a Pokemon and I'm like, I'm going to fight it. Jesus Christ, this is a long room. Might as well get to that item. This reminds me of my playthrough uh, when I <laughs> did a genocide massacre. Paulo must have been horrified at the new gem jar he befriended just start massacring the outlaws. Oh, that's not good at all. Back of a time. He was like, oh, I wonder why I can't move. It's because I got, I, I got wrapped. Oh no, we're getting hungry. We gotta murder fast. That's not a room, that's a hallway at that point. Ain't it? And it was just money. Money good. Although now that I think about it, we're gonna have to cross that again to some degree. That actually reminds me of, of that comment though, of like just doing a genocide massacre. Reminds me of a fanfic that I read where it was somebody who like did a run like that as well. Like they got to a point where you like split off into like a te like a temporary dungeon that you could just do it again and again and again for grinding. And then there was the main go this way to continue the story way. And basically it told the story of like the partner Pokemon that was just like losing its mind because they just keep on going again and again. It feels like it's been centuries, weeks, days, and hours blurring together. The level up words wrench from their mouth against their will as like a cosmic horror of like what it would be like if it was a real world dictated by a video game. And it was the last level anyway. At least we get to look at this night art, night art, this nice art. There appears to be, that appears to be the end of the dungeon. It's impossible to go any further. It's time to go back. Well, not with that attitude. Uh, very. Oh, for a moment, just like item silver bow. It's like, oh yeah, because that's the the, the the item I was wearing. Thank you for getting me the sleep seed. Please accept this fifteen hundred pokey. So we're gonna get like a hundred and fifty, aren't we? Maybe three hundred. Nope. <laughs> to show my thanks, I want you to have my heal seed. Put it in storage. And fifteen explore rank. Thank you for getting me the sleep seed. Please accept this. We get a 150 bucks. And we get a heal seed as well. And 15 explorer rank. Thanks for finding Starly, says Starly. To show my thanks, I want you to have my gold gummy. Haha, <laughs> take that, chatot. You don't get any money because they weren't offering money. <laughs> <laughs> Suck it. We should get some sleep too. Let's make tomorrow another good day, Neon. Okay, good night. One thing I also like about this above... <laughs> ah, chapter four, the gatekeepers. We gotta gatekeep girl boss this. But as continuing my thought, another cool thing that I like is unlike the rescue team games. This one actually has your partner stay with you as like a unit sleeping in the same building. It makes them feel like an ally, a friend, a lot more. 
especially in Rescue Team, where after you get to, like, the end of the game, it's just like, your partner's just like, hey, you know that other Pokemon can be the team leader as well. Anyway, goodbye, and just stops following you. Apparently they fix that in Rescue Team DX, where your partner still follows you around Pokemon Square, but just like... That's one of the reasons that I stopped, like, when I originally beat Rescue Team as a kid. I was just like, oh, my partner left me. I evolved him. Oh, he has no portrait anymore. Goodbye. <laughs> I just stopped playing. <laughs> I could just imagine the darkened stare of insanity. And they just say joyfully, Tolo, YOLO, YOLO, my brain is melting, I'm sorry. <laughs> YOLO, leveled up. <laughs> Based on what you said. Yep, that's basically what it was. The next morning. Uh, Up and at him! It's morning! Uh, I'm terrible at retaining information. Like, I'll say a thing. I'm gonna do this. Immediately leaves my mind. Uh, good morning, Neon. Would you like to save your adventure? Yes, I would. I'd like to save my adventure. And three smiles go for miles! Okay, Pokeball, time to get to work! Hooray! What do you have for us this time, shut up? Hey, you two! We need your help with something today! Alright, we're not getting told by chat up this time. Diglett, I brought them! Let's see. Pokemon Detective! Thank you, Loudrick! You two are doing sentry duty today! Sorry, I'm usually the one to do sentry duty. But today my dad gave me his duty of updating the boards. That's why I can't man my post. There are men in this world. Or at least man. Then again, this could just be a Tolkien translated into the language you're most familiar with thing. And it's technically not man, but like, it's been localized for us already. Another day of taxes. Not really, it's another day of just doing work. I don't think we're gonna get paid for sentry duty. It would be great if someone could take over my sentry duty for today. And that's why you're here. Please do a good job for me. Bye! And that's that. Uh-huh. I didn't follow that at all. Why are we involved in this? Shut your yam! And no more belly aching! Go do your duty! Ow! Oh, my head is already pounding. Oh, what are we supposed to do? Climb down this hole and stand guard. You're on sentry duty! Sentry duty? You're right! Sentry duty! We can't have suspicious characters coming into the guild! So we station a sentry below the guild entrance to evaluate Pokemon visitors. When you first came, you had your footprints evaluated, right? My footprints? What are you... This is anime. We get flashbacks. Pokemon detected! Pokemon detected! Whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint is Rialu's! The footprint is Rialu's! Wah! Oh, now I remember. There was that weird hole in front of the gate. I stood on the grating, then someone shouted up at me. It was startling. Okay, and you want us to climb down this hole, and then? The tunnel down there leads to the sentry post. Again, I like the detailing of them actually showing everything. Building these specialty... Like, a, like, showings to show you things. I word good, yes. Me want to be a writer, see? Diglett burrows through it and pops up underneath the sentry post. From the sentry post, Diglett inspects the footprints of visitors, identifies them, then informs me. Then I decide if the Pokemon is suspicious or not, and open the gates if he passes muster. So we serve as the guild's gatekeepers. That's the gist of it. 
Look, all you two have to do is inspect the footprints of visitors, then tell me what Pokemon they are. All right, understood? I guess so. Good, then let's get to work! Buck up and do a good job! I'm just peeking my microphone. Ah, it's pitch black in here, Neon. We'll have to feel our way. Well, we should be getting close to the sentry post. Oh, there! I see light, Neon. How's it going? Have you taken position at the sentry post? Yes, we're in position. Good! Pokemon visitors will step onto the grill above the sentry post. Identify them by footprint, then inform me! Got it! Yes, understood. Good! Let's get started. All right. Look at the footprints on the top screen, okay? Then identify the Pokemon. You can all get only two wrong, okay? Silas will keep an eye on things. Here comes the Pokemon. Check its footprint to tell me what it is. Uh, not you. Uh, I, I would think either a Vigoroth or a Prinplop. Prinplop. The footprint is Prinplop's. Heard ya. Come in, visitor. Yep, looks like you're right. Here comes a Pokemon. Check its footprint and tell me what it is. Uh, that I think is Mankey, I think. The footprint is Mankey's. Heard ya. Come on in, visitor. Yep, looks like you're right. Here comes a Pokemon. Check the footprint and tell me what it is. Block, figure off, no, Sandslash, no, Rhyhorn, Porygon, Porygon. The footprint is Porygon's. Heard ya. Come on in, visitor. Yep, looks like you're right. Here comes a Pokemon. Check its footprint and tell me what it is. This is way faster than anything they've ever done here. I'm surprised there's not a comic where the player Pokemon and partner became deaf due to Loudred's voice. I could bet it. Uh, Pinsir, no. Camrop, no. Murkrow? I could be Pinsir or Murkrow. Under the ground, Pinsir. The footprint is Pinsir's. Heard ya. Come on in, visitor. Yep, looks like you're right. I didn't even realize that it actually gave me hints down there. Uh, Zangu, Starly, Puchiana, Infernape? Let's see, hint. It is has a persistent nature. Oh, dang it. I panicked. It was going so fast at the end there. Yep, looks like you're right. Here comes a Pokemon. Check its footprint. Tell me what it is. Skarmory, Chimchar, Breloom, Murkrow. Is it Murkrow or Skarmory? I'll need a hint there. It believed to bring misfortune to those who see it at night, Murkrow. The footprint is Murkrow's! Heard ya! Come on in, visitor! Yep, looks like you're right! Sorry to keep you waiting! Silas and Neon! That'll do! Now get back here! You've worked an honest day, you two! Let me review your sentry duty performance! Well, well! Your results were completely perfect! We did perfection. Huzzah! You identified every visitor correctly! Excellent! We did it! We'll reward your effort. Generously, I might add. You deserve an especially large reward! As the reward for jo a job perfectly done, Neon's team received 500 Pokey. I guess at our rank, not bad. In addition, a Joy Seed. Not only that, again, again, sing! Isn't that the thing that powers shit up, man? And that's not the end of it. A Life Seed. Okay, so many rewards. Can you believe it? Keep up the good work. That was actually worth it. That was decent. That was nice. A uh, time thing stresses me out, but that was nice. That was fun times. Corefish looks like he's eating with his claws, not his mouth. He doesn't have a mouth. His mouth is his claws. We should get some sleep, too. Let's make tomorrow another good day, Neon. Okay, good night. Trying to keep Silas's voice different from Shane's is so difficult. A 
up and at him! It's morning! Uh, good morning, Neon. Would you like to save your adventure? Yes, I would. I don't know why I become Sean Connery up there, but I don't know. It just happens. And three smiles go for miles. Okay, and Pokemon, time to get to work. Hooray! All right, what work? Yeah, just board work? Ah, you two. Let me give you your assignment for today. Look up jobs on the bulletin board and outlaw notice board. Do the list of jobs, so that will be all for today. Understood? No shirking your work, okay. Well, if you understand, get on with it. Let's see what, like, uh, job list things carried over. Just the delivered rots berry, so we're going to suspend that. Maybe toss it eventually. And I don't think there's anything else there to talk it, talk it, talk it about. Ah, different teams showed up. Hey, hey, you two! Want to hear a tip about these bulletin board tasks? Sure, you want to hear? I'll tell you. Hey, hey! You can take as many of these jobs as an outlaw missions for the same dungeon as you want. Hey, hey! Here's an example. Let's say there are two jobs in the same dungeon. One on the fifth floor and another on the tenth. First, add the jobs to your own job list. Second, select tick job for both of them. Third, go to the dungeon. Once there, you do the job on the fifth floor first. Then instead of returning here, you continue onward to the job on the tenth floor. That way you do two jobs in one exploration. Hey! <laughs> nice, neat, hey? If I remember correctly, I think at least one future Mystery Dungeon game makes it so you can only do one job per dungeon, which is a bit bothers me that I didn't... Did you know there are ranks to exploration teams? We of Team Ebony have the silver rank. Well, nice, huh? I'm not content with our rank. We should be so much better. I would like to raise our explorer rank much higher. I deserve a rank that sparkles and shines. I am worthy. That amuses me. There should be treasure there. I fear these. All right, so rescue, rescue. Help in my Pokemon search, which I believe shouldn't be escort mission. And yeah, just a bunch of fine Pokemon on Mount Bristle. Hmm. But Mount Bristle scares me a bit. But if we're smart, we shouldn't be terrible, and plus we can save scum. Wait a minute. So yeah, these two, level 5, level 9, and these are just missing Pokemon. So they, so they know that they're on Mount Bristle, but they don't know where. And last time, they didn't, like, the help in my Pokemon search thing didn't come up. So I should be fine to take Mount Bristle ones. Let's see, any outlaws? Wait, don't run. Kabuto snatched the escape orb and ran away. Retrieve the stolen item by beating, but they are a B rank. Ooh. But they're high up. We can risk it, I guess. We made it all the way through Mount Bristle once. Even though I think we got KO'd twice in there. Because I got cornered by three goddamn birds. And you know what? We're just going to get rid of the deliver Rost Berry. You don't need a Rost Berry. Go home. Go home and be a family man. Oh, well, there's nothing to be frightened of, Bidoo. Let us be brave and go on our exploration. I'm going on an exploration with Sunflora, but... Ooh, I tell you, I'm feeling less than mighty confident. And of course, we're going to save before we go, so we don't have to go through everything again. Oh, hey! A why not in a Wubbuffet? Right here, right? Wubbuffet! Oh, no, you, you said a word! You said that's right! It speaks! The world is coming to an end. 
Ba, ba, ba. No bottles, but we are here at a nice place. A nice beach resort. I do like that it seems that even on odd days where nothing story happens, it seems they kind of change up, like, what Pokemon are out and about. I like that. Oh, hey, you two! Oh, Neon and Silas! Thank you so much for saving my little brother. The sewer came back safely. I... I... Thank you so very much. Thank you, Neon and Silas. No problem. Hey, Wurmple. Yes? The weather's good today. Oh, nice days like this. I really work up an appetite. What? Uh, really? If yeesh. You're scaring your partner. He has to know. He has to know. Oh, hey, it's this team. Miss Weavile, if I'm correct. Hey, you two. Are you from around here? Then let me ask you, somewhere in this area, there should be a place called Zero Isle. Do you know of it? Zero Isle? No, should I? Hmm, so that's the case. Fine, be that way. Don't know what that is. We're Team Odd. We're a band of thieves led by Weavile. You just say that out in the open? Our travels in search of the ultimate treasures brought us here. But this place doesn't appear to be much of a prospect. We traveled all the way out here, but it turns out that this spot is pretty dingy, isn't it? Yo, another great day! Good luck with your guild training! They're just like, oh yeah, we're, we're thieves. <laughs> what you gonna do about it? So we're going on for a Dan Green voice for our boy Grovile. Maybe. <laughs> Time to duel! It basically, it, it, it'll it depend on, like, the the vibes I get when I get to him. Yo, status problems. But yeah, it'll all depend on what kind of vibes I get from him once I, well, get to him. Let's see. Because we have a... What's Joycey? Raises level by one? I'm going to keep that in there for a little bit. I do believe, I do believe. That way we can maybe get to high super levels. Powers up the topmost move. I'm going to take that. Hmm, I don't know what move to level up. Because my, my scratch is probably not a good move to level up, because it's probably a low level. Yeah, it's only a four power move. Whereas Silas's Force Palm, one, two, three, four, five, it's up there. But I have more control over me than Silas. And it's not that much like... Mm. Oh. Oh. Yeah, because it's just a normal basic move. I guess I could hold on to the Ginseng until I get a good move for myself. I don't need to rush and use my Ginseng. Thank you, Miss Kangaskhan. buy gummies, but it seems like they're guaranteed to be gummies here at all time, and of course there's the Rossberry now. You bastard. Hmm. I'm not that desperate for gummies right now, so we're not gonna go on a buying spree. We're not going for like a super duper like hyper effective playthrough anyway. I just thought that since in the anime, Grovile's voiced by Dan Green. Oh, I didn't know that. 
He just pops up in the randomest places, don't he? And plus, it's been a long time since I've actually heard Dan Green's voice. In just like any anime. And now that we've done all that... Well, first things... Oh, I'm safe. But yeah, basically, once we meet Grovel, because I did kind of a voice for him. Well, like when he appeared in that... Like, uh, not flashback, it just he appeared. Alright. Handle fights in, like... I wonder what the difference between the pebbles and the geo rocks are. But yeah, basically, I don't want to be surrounded in this goddamn dungeon. The birds will come for me. Then again, we're kind of powerful now. I do like that we kind of that I can control Silas a bit by going. Oh, son of a bitch! It's only six damage, but scary. Whenever it does the, and now you've been the super effective hit. I'm scared. Level two. You can fight, but you can die. And now, I feel like Force Palm was the right choice. Force Palm was the right choice, indeed. How dare you tackle me? That's illegal! I should probably be saving my moves. In fact, I'm going to disable your Force Palm. So that we can save that for the criminal. Right as I say, oh, we should be um, uh, saving our, our moves, I immediately use a move. I am very intelligent, as you can tell. Very intelligent. Good job. I was facing the wrong direction, because I am but a fool. Why am I the one that suffers? Why are we still here? Just to suffer? My first thought was like, wait a second, isn't that the Pharaoh? <laughs> What's Yami being here for? I just gotta learn the tips and tricks of manipulating wild Pokemon and their movements, and my partner's movements. Yes, yes, mud spark. Why is the rock hitting me, like, less intensely than frickin' birds? Especially on a mountain. Oh boy, an apple! Apple! Hey, apple! Apple! Hello, bird. We're here to kill you. We're here to kill. We are grammar, yes. You didn't have to do that. You could have killed him in one hit. Damn it, the bird strikes back. I'm going to disable those if you keep doing that. Yeah, I was like, why is it, like, the fighting type? Not a problem. The rock type. Not a problem. The fucking birds! I just had, like, an evil idea for, like, a mechanic for Mystery Dungeon where if you're, like, searching for a missing Pokemon and you go into a dungeon, you don't immediately know 
like which one's a wild Pokemon and which one is the civilian who's running for their life. So you might be like, oh no, another annoying this Pokemon. Blast them. Oh, that was her client. Probably be a very frustrating feature, but I think it would be amusing. Of course you are. Motherfucking bird. It's for the birds! I'm gonna throw a rock. I'm gonna throw a rock! Jerk, why you do that? You could murder him. You could kill bird right now. Why you do? Yeah, we leave. We leave now. Just a warning. Confusion is wild in uh, yeah, mystery dungeon form. From my experience, after 180, <laughs> after my 180 accidental snipe, <laughs> still living in my head. Completely understandable. Go ahead and get rid of you just because I can. Just get you out of here. Hey, we got a stun seed for that criminal once we get to the proper level. dare you string shot me. I'm just gonna definitely do that. Jesus. Have rock. Why do you keep doing that? I'm gonna disable that. Quit using them. You don't need to use them. And rock. Damn it. What's in this orb? A transfer orb. I guess if I really wanted to, I could find like a dead end. And essentially hide in with my partner blocking any damage coming my way. This place really is for the birds. This is you, chill, you little schmuck. Rock. We getting hungry. We must munch. On apple. I wonder if I fed it to Silas, if it just wouldn't work. That'd be kind of amusing, but also painful. Dang it. My master plan to lure the spider into the open failed. It still died, but failed. Heal up by waiting. You must have that super metabolism. I mean, how could I forget Yo-Yo the Chimchar getting confused and accidentally sniped his partner Apollo with a 180 degree turn with a plus one flamethrower? Does sound horrifying. You accidentally murder your partner. Now we still have a lot of scratch. Damn it. And now I'm slowed. Good God, if they paired, like, slow with... <laughs> slow with, uh, movement up. It's terrifying. It doesn't fill the belly if any other Pokemon eat it. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Sorry, Silas, you have to starve. I forgot I was still slow. But I, I'm hungry. Why can't I eat? 
feeding you doesn't feed the team, Shane. It doesn't feed the team. I'm gonna throw a stick at you. Why does it do one more damage than a than a rock? Hello there. Get out of here. Thank you. I'll see you at the guild with your reward when you return. I just had an idea. It's like, what if somebody wanted to sabotage a guild? So they just started warping in wild Pokemon from the dungeons. You jerk. That's probably not how, like, the badges work, but still. Granted, I don't think we ever get world building on how that all works. Oh, you a big meanie. Of course a bird is coming. Oh, I accidentally arranged my things. It's not what I meant to do. Die. Now that, I meant to do. And we will try to cross the big old tunnel. Because if any Pokemon's gonna start <laughs> wandering through there to eat me, it's gonna be that one. And you learned the hard way that feeding other Pokemon doesn't fee feed the team. That's just interesting. I wonder why they made that conscience decision. Conscious decision. To just go like, and your partner starves. Damn it. Get clawed, idiot. How dare you low kick me. Stop kicking me like I'm Iggy from JoJo. Stop it! Well, that was a poor decision on my part. Max Elixir, that's kind of nice. <laughs> Every single time I see, like, a Pokemon in the dungeon pick up items, I'm like, oh no, are they going to use it against me? Even though I don't think they can. Thank you, I'll see you at the guild for your reward. It seems like every Pokemon actually has a portrait this time, which I really appreciate. I very appreciate that, yes. It was very nice. <laughs> I fear nothing but multi-hit moves in <laughs> Mystery Dungeon. <laughs> Scare me. That is very fair. As somebody who always speed runs, giving my Trico partner bullet seed. I definitely understand. Although I hear that they nerfed that later in the series where Pokemon only faint after the attack has fully ended. So you're basically torturing a single Pokemon to death rather than like uh, rather than taking out multiple Pokemon nice and quickly, one just suffers. Literally went from, like, 96 HP to zero. Yep, that's multi-hit moves in Mystery Dungeon. That's how Mystery Dungeon works. Om nom. Apple. One thing that I've, like, I noticed but I keep forgetting is that, like, I need to restructure my thoughts. One thing that I notice in, like, Mystery Dungeon fanfics is, like, none of them really go down the route of actually, like, uh, going over that, like, hunger mechanic. Usually they just, oh, we just go through the dungeon. It's fine. They kind of completely ignore how the games are like, oh, yeah, and, uh, uh, these dungeons are so big and large and long that you need food to get through. You need... I almost wonder if they're like overnight dungeons. 
you stay in the dungeon. I was like, wait a minute, I was in that room. Why is there an item there? <laughs> also fell down a trap. Traps are evil. The, the purest evil in Mystery Dungeon. No, I guess that, could, that would actually be, like, the monster houses, really. Every single time I run into a monster house, fear. <laughs> One thing that's the death. What? <laughs> the, the game crashed, it seems. And this, lady and gentlemen, is why you save. Every time. Every time you save. Because you don't know what's going to happen. I hope it's not like a glitch with the ro like the the mod with like outlaw missions. I feel like that would have been patched by now cuz the ROM has been out for a while. But interesting. And immediately we're going to go to team to redo your moves cuz you're just going to spam those. Well, let's a go. Speed run this. Worst comes to worst, I can start like making save like a uh, save states each level, like I did at the nightmare end of the rescue team. When the rescue team levels started to get very, very mean. But that's the risk you run for the convenience of recording emulation. Never know when a weird thing might pop up. Get some healing in. And, at least for now... Emergency save states. Of which, I probably won't use if I faint in a dungeon. If I die in a dungeon, that's my own fault, and I need to get good. But if technology fails me, then it's free game. Although I completely reserve the right to go, this game is screwing with me. I'm gonna go use save states. I forgot you can do that, because you're a bitch. Take rock. How dare. Honestly, I'm surprised that there's not a remake of Explorers of Sky. That is one thing that, like, I wonder why they decided to make a remake of Rescue Team and not Explorers. The best I could imagine is that Rescue Team was the first one, and maybe they were feeling out an entire, like, series of remakes with the games. Who knows? Because when did Rescue Team DX come out? Because who knows? Maybe they're making a Explorers remake right as we speak. Although I'm not sure how well that would go down for like fans of the series, because, like, Explorers of Sky is the pinnacle of the old Mystery Dungeon, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, before it went to Gates to Infinity. And Gates to Infinity changed things. And then Super was kind of a middle ground. And then, like, even uh, R Rescue Team DX kind of shifted things again, so who knows. There's no real telling of what they would even do in a remake. Uh, why not release all of them? Like, uh, I know that they did release, like, uh, re-release the, uh, on the Wii U, they made, like, the, you know, like how they had the, I'm trying to think of the word, because it was like the NES... What are they called? I'd forget. 
but they basically allowed you to officially emulate classic games on, like, the Wii and Wii U to a degree. Because, like, uh, on the Wii U, there was, I believe, Explorers of Sky and Rescue Team Blue on the Wii U's Virtual Console. That's what it's called, Virtual Console. Well, that's not good at all. My poor poison boy. So they've kind of done that, just not for the Switch. And Nintendo's kind of flippy floppy on the whole, like, ooh, officially re release thing. I thought Gates to Infinity was a ROM hack. Nope. Gates to Infinity is the. Bop, bop, bop. Gates to Infinity is the first 3D Mystery Dungeon game, the one that was released on the 3DS. And then there was po uh, Super Mystery Dungeon, which was the last new Mystery Dungeon game if you don't count remakes like Rescue Team DX. Because I know I've heard mixed things about Gates to Infinity. Because I'm not sure where exactly... Uh, Rescue Team falls in the whole of, like, the Mystery Dungeon fan rankings. Because I know Explorers of Sky is at the top. I think Super Mystery Dungeon is over Gates to Infinity, and I think, like, fans of, uh, Explorers of Sky dislike Gates, uh, Gates to Infinity the most, but I don't know the specifics. So I could be wrong about something. Do not want to end. Although maybe I should have made a safe state there on the offhand chance that it is the outlaw floor that's just gonna break. Who knows? But it'll be my punishment to redo the entire dungeon without the outlaw one if it turns out that's what's bricking it. Of which owl pain, misery. And you know that thing that I keep saying of, like, I say I'm gonna do things and then I just don't? I didn't make a safe state there when going up a level out of paranoia fear. I'm but a maroon. Uh, March 6th, 2020. That's the release date of Rescue Team DX. Maybe they have to adjust the cutscenes because it's a DS game? If, like, for re-releasing, they would just... Hmm, that is a thing, because I doubt they would... I don't know. I doubt that they would actually re-release it for, like, the Switch just straight up because it is a DS game. But, like... I don't think it would be terribly hard for them to get it running on the Switch normally. Maybe? It worked better on the Wii U because it did have, like, the bottom screen touchpad, which worked on things. Worked things well there. Whereas, the only real way to get that working on the Switch is if it was in handheld mode and you, like, had it sideways and the Joy-Cons were off. It would just kind of be a bit clunky and odd, I would believe. But, uh, as for making, like, a whole remake and having to redo the cutscenes. Well, they already had to do that for, like, Rescue Team DX, so I don't know. Do not know. Recreating them in, like, they would have to do it in a new engine with the 3D models, so who knows? <laughs> you know, you have two screens. They'll figure it out. Probably, probably. And that was on a different one, but luckily I just made a save state. Okie doke. Something weird's going on. I'm not sure if it's the emulator or the ROM hack. But it seems to happen at... 
floor transitions. Let's see if it happens again. It didn't. It's random. Nope. Wait. Ooh, that's that's bad, it seems. Ah. What's going on making it crash on that floor, I wonder? I'll make a separate one, and we'll we'll do some testing. This is weird. All right, we'll wander around a bit, see if that has anything to do. Hmm. I will quickly restart the emulator. See if that has any effect. Weird, because it's on a different floor than last time. Very interesting. Well, let's see. What horrors beget us now? Please work. Nope. Huh. Just a constant fail on that specific floor transition. Maybe you have too many quests? It shouldn't be that because we got to floor 7 beforehand. Last time. And it was floor 8, the outlaw level that was given the hang. So weird. I do have a save state right before... Because it's not the emulator, it don't seem. Hmm. And we've done, like, other... We've done this, like, place before. It's just this specific run, it seems. Which is weird. Because we've done this mountain before. This stream, even. And I believe we had, like... Alright. Make another one. And see. What weirdness. Probably something about invalid Pokemon data. Don't know. Well, at least we have an easy out. Hello, Nidorena. We can teleport out of here with you. There could be something weird about the ROM hack in generating random things. That maybe could be it. Maybe. Thank you for rescuing me. I'll definitely have to look into that. Hmm. Y usually a Pokemon game crash happens when invalid code is executed. Like, the most I could think of is... Hmm. Because, like, maybe something like a pink gummy was spawning, and that's, like, the fairy gummy. So maybe it doesn't like the fairy gummies, but I don't... I don't know. So either, like, an item it didn't like spawned on that level? Because I've been playing a Zoro, so I don't think it would be... Hmm. And I don't think they added any new Pokemon to spawn on Mount Bristle. <laughs> so just a little weird thing. Let's make tomorrow another good day, Neon. Okay, good night. But at least we have an out. Ooh, the first official exploration. Hope to God that, uh, like, the normal dungeons don't break. Because it's weird, we went for three hours last time... And about an hour this time without anything happening. And we've done that dungeon before. So the most I can imagine is maybe an invalid item was spawning on levels. Because again, the first time we went through Mount Bristle that it crashed, we got to level 7 and was trying to go to level 8. And that's why I thought, oh no, is the bandit outlaw thing broken? I don't know. Hmm. Up and at him! It's morning! So we'll just have to proceed carefully. Would like to save my adventure. But very odd. It's probably spawning something like item zero, which doesn't exist. That could be it. I'll have to check and see if there are any updates, because, like, this, mo this ROM hack has been around for, like, 
six months or more now. And with many updates, I'll have to check and see. It's possible that I am screwing up here. Who knows? Runners. Uh, <clears throat> Everyone, listen up. I have an important announcement to make. Far to the northeast, then further into the outermost reaches, there lies a place named Tree Shroud Forest. In Tree Shroud Forest, time has apparently stopped. Huh? Eek! What did you say? You're saying time stopped? Hey! <laughs> yes, that is correct. The time has come to a standstill in Tree Shroud Forest. That wind has stopped, the clouds are motionless. Dewdrops on leaves won't fall, they just hang there, suspended. In Tree Shroud Forest, time itself has truly stopped. D time has stopped? But how could something like this awful, this awful happen? It's unthinkable! Yes! The unthinkable has happened. Why has time stopped in Tree Shroud Forest? Well, it's because Tree Shroud Forest's time gear was stolen. Huh? The time gear was stolen? That's what made time stop. Hey, <laughs> I'd heard it was possible, but now it's really happened. I don't get it, though. Why would anyone take a time gear? Quiet, everyone! Officer Magnazone has already started an investigation. It's hard to believe that anyone would dare steal in our time gear. But if one time gear can be stolen, the others may also be in danger. The officer has asked to be notified immediately if we notice any suspicious characters. Someone pulled a Zawardo. Now I'm imagining, like, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, but everyone got thrown into the Pokemon world. So, keep that in mind. Let us know if you notice anything. That is all. All right, everyone. Here's to another busy day of work. Hooray! The world is dying. And what are you going to say, Chad? Oh, you're there. You two, come here. You've become quite good at your work. I'm impressed with your capture of Drowsy. That was very admirable. So, you will finally be assigned a mission worthy of a proper exploration team. Really? Hooray! Let me see our wonder map. Wonder map, wonder map. Treasure Town is here. And over here is where we would like you to investigate. See, there is a waterfall flowing here. By all appearances, it's just an ordinary waterfall. But we've received intelligence that the waterfall may conve conceal a secret. Of course. Waterfalls always hold secrets in video games, or ancient lore, according to Journey to the West. And that's where you come in. We want you lot to investigate the waterfall and determine what's there. That's all. Do you understand what this mission entails? Understood. Good. All right. I'll leave you all to thoroughly investigate the waterfall. Huh? What's wrong? You're shivering. Uh, are you all right? Yes, I'm okay. It's just the anticipation that's making me nervous. This will be the first time we get to do a real job as an exploration team. I'm feeling a little worked up. Oh, I feel like I'm going to burst from excitement. Let's do our best, Neon. Yeah! Hey, Diglett! It's a new day! Let's buckle down and focus! Focus indeed. Oh, Chimico. Oh, Neon and Silas too. Huh? What's Chimico doing there? Ah, we're gonna start recruiting Pokemon now? Hello, what's going on here? I just started an assembly here today, in fact. Assembly? Yes, for assembling your team. Have you ever considered adding members, Silas? Other members? Well, sure, it'd be cool to add other members. If there were more than just the two of us. It sure would help when we were exploring dungeons. Well then, you need to start recruiting new members. Oh, how do we start? I'll just ring the friendship bell for you, Team Lost Light. 
Here goes. Yeah. Chimico rang the friendship bell. Now Team Lost Light has the power to recruit new members. Really? Yes, from now on, while battling Pokemon in dungeons, you may earn respect from some of them, and those Pokemon will then ask to join Team Lost Light. That's another thing that I don't really see in, like, Mystery Dungeon fanfiction all that much. Normally, they try to explain away why Pokemon in dungeons are just randomly attacking people. Sometimes there's, like, illusions. Sometimes they're wild Pokemon. Who knows? You may earn respect of some of them. Those Pokemon will then ask to join Team Lost Light. Once you have recruited a Pokemon, you can bring it along with you on dungeon explorations. To bring a Pokemon along, visit my assembly, then choose which member should join your team for the exploration. Always see me when you want to assemble a team that includes recruits. Oh, wow. Thanks, Trimaku. Huh? You all been assigned to investigate that waterfall? It'll be your first exploration. I'm pulling for you to succeed, by God. Now you all dig into that challenge really hard now. Our leader is always nervous around fire, but that's a small thing compared to all the positives, so I'm happy to support our leader through thick and thin. Ponyta and I are great at using fire-based attacks, as you can imagine, but we leave swirling fire in our wake as we fight, and that scares our leader. I think our leader has lost confidence because of this, but I don't know what we can do about it. We're Team Flame. I'm the leader. I don't like to admit it, but I'm very timid. When my team members start fighting with fire, I can't do a thing but stand back and hope I don't get hit. Uh, I feel so pathetic. Why, why would you do this to yourself? Exploring is too much effort. We're Team Slacker. We're the Zero Motivation Exploration Team. Well, good for you. Let's see, we've got another Mount Bristle that we we'll, might as well take. <laughs> so we can suffer through Mount Bristle again. And uh, another one will take you as well. We won't do them, because we got a new place to go. Then again, we could. We could do them, because we don't have to go and do, like, the main mission all every single time, I think. We can actually go and do our own mission, and then we wake up next time and be like, hey, we should go do that thing. Ooh, we spend a cafe open? Huh? What's going on? There are stairs here. There's something written on the sign. Huh? What? Spinda's Cafe, a shop of hopes and dreams. Opening soon. Win big, it says. Looks like a new shop will be opening soon, but hopes and dreams? I wonder what kind of shop this will be. Let's come back after it's open and find out. Well, they have a hole. I'm sure we could just go down there and find out. So yeah, I'm kind of interested. We'll go down to the beach, see if there are any beach diddledies. Ba ba da ba da ba da da. And let's see. We will take money from bank, and we'll see. Ah, more Pokemon. Shiva! We like to find new places where no one's gone before. We slash our way through deep woods with our sharp claws. We're Team Razorwind. We're the Sharp Clawed Trio. There's got to be a Viper team that doesn't like you. I think the main reason I liked uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon was because every character had personality, felt fleshed out. It is very nice. The shop down from here looks unoccupied now. Not in business yet, I guess. We try to buy only cheaper items that have greatest value. So which item should we buy today? Welcome to the Kecleon shop. We can buy more Geo Pebbles. Ooh, another Reviver Seed, another Reviver Seed. I think I'm gonna buy another Reviver Seed. Reviver Seed's very important to me. Reviver Seed. 
steel type. What typing are you right now, I think? Because you become Steel and Lucario, so there's no real point to grab that, really. I would like to store. I did that, uh, the world was ending and I was <laughs> waiting. Hold on, I got jobs to do in 15 minutes. <laughs> Ain't that just the way it goes? Well, that's not what I meant to hit. Is there anything else that I want to throw in there that I missed? We'll put the sticks in there as well. And I don't think there's much else for me to buy, so we'll put our money away. Uh, but your partner can't evolve, nor can you if I remember. I think it's like, if you can in this game, it's probably far off after the story has all taken place. Even like the post-game stuff, probably. <laughs> Yet again, this is a ROM hack. I don't think they've added that in. All right. Just because I'm intrigued, we're gonna go through Mount Bristle again. Because I'm kind of interested due to the fact that they weren't... It could have maybe been the missing Pokemon. No? And Shellos. So it's not like they're a new Pokemon that are spawning on a random floor. All right, we're gonna save again because we've accepted those. But yeah, I don't uh, think that this ROM hack added evolution before when you, if you can, because I think it is a staple in this game where you can evolve at some point. Then again, I've only played the all the way through Rescue Team, so I don't know. But yeah, we'll see. Because we went, we ran through this Mount Bristle twice, back to back. And from going from level, or like floor, like, uh, and trying to go from floor six to floor seven caused a crash. And then... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, you just used Peck. For a moment, I thought you were going to do, like, a multi-hit move. I was scared. Bam. Because the first time, we were going to level 8 from level 7 of the dungeon. And then the second time, it'll be interesting to see what goes where goes why. Oh yeah, and I forgot to comment on it. Electivire wasn't there again. Darn Electivire. Let's see if we can discover secrets. T took no damage. Interesting. You must be a weakling. Never mind. The evil bird is here to prove me wrong. How could I miss? It is a rock. Wait, yeah, I'm just interested. Intrigued. I don't know what it might be. I'll definitely try and do research afterwards to see if I can find what happened. If I want to know, I want to see. Is it replica? Uh, re what's the word? Not. I don't know. 
Rain is mush now. Oh, you can evolve, you need to unlock Marine Resort. Interesting. I presume that, like... Because, uh... Then again, this game also, like, added a bunch of portraits to a bunch of Pokémon. So... Who knows? Be gone, Bugman. Spider-Man. 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 Gets thrown into the Pokemon world and dies. I went too far away. I'm a fool. You try to run, I have rocks. Die. And graduation of the guild. That makes sense. We're here for you, rock man. Prepare to die. Impressive that you crunched the rock man dead with your teeth. Again. Like, oh no, I'm just a poor soft boy, Silas. Basically a murderer. Thrown into the dungeons is ready for murder. Uh, do I know how to unlock Marine Resort? No, because I got the final maze in Destiny Tower to do. <laughs> It'll come along eventually. At its own pace, probably. Right when it is required. I wonder why. Like, the Machops. Are there the Machops? Yeah, because it's Machop, Machoke, Machamp, I believe, is the evolution path. It's just like, why are you so weak? Why is it the birds? Why are the birds the gods of this realm? Aha! Level up time! Level 12! Got some nice stand-ups. Huh. I actually stayed for the first time at the final maze and went down 35 floors and it was still going! Jesus! Some dungeons just go super long and it gets crazy. Like the, I forget what it's called, like the Lost Relic or Ancient Relic. Well, it's a relic. Just goes up 99 floors like a nightmare world. Now I swear each time that we get to a floor, my brain is just going, Oh no, it's gonna break. It's gonna break. The world's gonna die. That's not what I meant to do. I fat-fingered it. I'm a fool. No packed items, so you can't take anything. That's harsh. You have to find all the things you need right there. Then they come for you. How dare you make me look towards him, you bastard. I wanted to kill the Machop. Kill the bird. Kill the spoiler. Murder God. All right. As a failsafe. Fly high, Shellos. Escape the nightmare. And we will continue. Possibly even fruitlessly. But continue we will. Ooh, a level up for Silas. Huzzah! Excellent! I leveled up! And some nice stat-ups to go with it. Always nice when you get a decent spread of stat-ups. Makes it feel like it was worthwhile. Oh no, our items are too big. Causes hallucinations! Game is like, okay, yo yo uh, has had too much fun. Crank the difficulty. That is the one downside I feel 
when it comes to like uh, some of the post game stuff where it's just like we're gonna throw like uh, traps at you and we're gonna throw this at you and that at you and it's just like oh no the fun has done lifted they have confused difficulty for annoyance Or at least that's how it was for the ending of Rescue Team. Oh. Exploration Team, run! Uh, you're not gonna run, you're gonna die. Interesting, it's playing funky music. Alright, we're gonna... Of course you're gonna run, because you're a coward. Of course the enemy is gonna get in the way. <laughs> at least the game gave me a, a, a lot of post-game. <laughs> yeah, that is at least... Good post-game is nice. Oop, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to give you force bomb. I don't think I appreciate. Oh, aha! Let's see. Can I just tell him to wait? Team Silas. Tactics. Wait here. <laughs> idiot! You've come to the loop-de-loop -loop of doom. Oh shit, now he's serious. I probably should have done a counter. Now I'm gonna throw a rock at you from all the way over here. Maybe I can just keep throwing rocks from here. Haha, <laughs> idiot! Yes, you knocked out Otla Kabuto! You've completed the mission. Would you like to go? No. Yes. Whew! <laughs> Don't let him get to the exit. Luckily, he went to a roundabout. No idea how you're supposed to deal with them normally. I can only imagine it's because I was uh, technically too low a level for what the game was uh, kind of expecting of me. Because it was a C rank, so I'm going to guess that the game kind of expects you to be of a decent level for C rank. Mix Elixir, I think, is fake Max Elixir. So, yeah. But, yeah, thank goodness he. Jesus Christ, that was a whole congregation. But yeah, I, li I do like that there was the wait there command. That saved the day. Wait there saved the day indeed. Had a heart attack. Ah. <laughs> Wait, not Apollo, Silas. <laughs> I'm mistaking my team for yours. That's just how's it, how it goes. You play the game, the, the 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 team there becomes your team. Shine on, little Anorith. Thank you. I'll see you at the guild. All right. I would like to keep exploring, and hope that the glitch is gone. Whatever evil demons possessed this dear emulation began. I can only hope that it's like a semi-rare thing. Ah, crap. That You're going to use that to heal yourself, aren't you? Nope, you didn't. Because you are a fool. Is there any point to keeping, like, the fake items... 
that just damage you. Jesus Christ, what's up the poison congregation? Why is there so many? And this before a, an outlaw floor. I think I can take you normally. Get out of here. It was just a congregation. But that's not what I meant to do. You're already poisoned. Thank you, game. I would never have noticed. Well, I guess that explains why there are so many Pokemon in there. It was just a dead end. So they're going round and round and round and round and round. I just realized we are going completely the wrong way for leaving. Why do you exist but to get in my way, Spider-Man? I'm poisoned. I'm hungry. I'm dying. Help! I think all I have is big apples. Oh no. Alright. We shall use an orange berry before going. Because. Let's see. Another outlaw. All right, first things first. Silas, go after that foe. Damn it, we spawned right here and he's ahead of us. So let's see. Probably do pursuit if he tries to attack me. Haha, <laughs> you've become paralyzed, you fool! I do like that he seems to be a fool. Just kind of dancing around. Oh, I'm gonna have to. Bite move can't be used. Wish you were smart. Don't use it then. I don't care about you, Machop. I'm a criminal to kill. Who has a fucking lot of. And he's dead! I used the wrong move. <laughs> Go over it. I wanted to wait there so that I could, like, uh, wait him out. Oh, I'm out of scratch too. Oh well. Yeah, basically I wanted to wait there so that if he got in range, I could hit him, and if he then moved on anyway, could ba ba da ba ba da ba. Complete the mission. Would you like to leave the dungeon? No. Let's continue. And gather items and money. Perhaps. Fight me. Fight me on my own level. Get a bit more experience out of this dungeon. Oh no, we're coming to <laughs> round to the uh, the doom wheel of uh, three Pokemon with lots of birds. The worst nightmare universe to ever exist. Luckily it's only two birds and a rock. I think that I need to give an Orin Berry to Silas. Because he's about to die because of the fucking duo. <laughs> but I do... <laughs> it's just kind of interesting to be like, okay, I need to be kind of scared of the outlaw because they do lots of damage. But I don't need to be that scared because they're flailing all around. It's like, oh, I gotta leave. Oh, no, there's an enemy. Oh, no. There's a whole thing. 
Because a part of me was afraid that if I did stand on the... Okay, it didn't crash. Good. <laughs> it's just like every single time it goes through the transition, I'm like... Aah! But, uh, to complete my thought... Uh... I was worried that if I went onto the staircase, the outlaw would run far, far away because, like, like AI would go, there is no possible way of getting to the exit. And plus, I was, uh, like, one part afraid that if I went onto it, the enemy would go aggro and go, ah, to get to the exit, I need to kill you. And, or, if I stood on it, the AI would go, there is a blockage of the exit run far, far away until blockage is removed. So I just decided, I'm just gonna stay here. It seems to be working. <laughs> it seems to be working. It should be fine. Ghost Pokemon with curse suck because they can go over the wall. Oh, I, I hope that I don't get any outlaw ghosts. At least they tell you what, like, Pokemon the Outlaw is. So if I see a ghost type that flies, I'm just gonna be like, nah. I don't think so. Oh, now we're both poisoned. I didn't even realize. We're gonna change tactics. Follow me. Alright, good job. Hello, Shellos. As always, in my paranoia, paranoia, everybody's coming to get me. Be safe. May the Force go with you. You have completed a mission. We will stay here and die of our poison. <laughs> An escape orb! I probably should take it. Probably. So that way I can have multiple. That's one way to fix it, I guess. Like, I just take an escape orb with me and I s <laughs> make a save state before every, uh, ba 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 ba, every staircase. Then I'll never get soft locked again. It'll still happen, but, like, it won't really affect me. And the peak. We're never going to find that treasure in there, are we? That would be interesting if you, like, brought in a small ally. They would go in and bring out a treasure. Impress him. You brought Kabuto in for a rest. Z -z -z Take this item as your reward. Z -z -z a reviver seed, yes! And points. Oh! We went to bronze! Ha 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 ha! And now, we can keep more items in storage. And we got a citrus berry. I think that... What does citrus berry do? I don't think that's a normal berry. Z thank you for your cooperation. Thank you for getting my escape orb. Please es accept this 2,500 Poké Dollars. To show my thanks, I want you to have my violent seed. Why does a little thing like you have a violent seed? Thank you for rescuing me. Please accept this. I also kind of find it amusing. Oh, hey, a fairy gummy. Well, at least its existence isn't breaking the game, so maybe that wasn't it either. Thanks for finding Anorith. Please accept this 2,000 pokey. And have a clear gummy. Huzzah. We did a lot of jobs there. <laughs> the Shellos says, thank you for finding Shellos. Huzzah! So who knows? There was just something weird going on there. You know, I never equipped Brown Bow since I thought it was a key item because you never lose it. Huh. We should get some sleep too. Let's make tomorrow another good day, Neon. Okay, good night. I think I knew to equip like the, bo the, 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 like, the bow and scarf items because I played... Like, I don't know. It could have just been my gaming instincts. I played lots of games, so I'm like, oh, this increases things. Add. Up and at him! It's morning! Uh, good morning, Neon. 
Would you like to save your adventure? Yes, I would. <laughs> then I figured it, like, five chapters in. That's not bad. I'm, like, five chapters in. Am I? I forget. I'm, I'm, I'm a fool, you see. <laughs> Time to get to work. He's gonna turn us like, why didn't you go to the, the waterfall? Okay, good. He doesn't point it out. He doesn't lambast us. For being slow. But we cleared out our job listing. No idea what caused the, the havoc. Bring a Rostberry. I do believe we have one. Help! A rescue is urgently needed. Special band. I was gonna be like, are there three special bands? We do have a Big Apple. We do have a Rostberry. I believe that we shall take these. They are D-ranked. Not that bad. Kind of easy to do. Nice to... And no, no outlaws. But we're gonna be doing the story mission. More than likely. Still going to be, like, paranoid every single time I enter another floor from now on. I'm just going to go, is this it? Is this where the doom happens? Will I have to restart from the very beginning, daddy? So who knows? It could have been an emulator issue. Could have been a ROM issue. Who knows? It's just weird because it happened twice in a row on different floors. But then on the third, it didn't happen. I don't understand it. And we're slowly building up. Stuff. And Electivire still isn't here. Maybe after we go in through the... Waterfall, he'll finally be there. Well, you'd like to store things. We are going to keep in a... Well, I guess since we're doing a story mission, it doesn't really matter that much. But whenever we do actual missions from now on, we're gonna carry stuff with us. A Skype orb. A Skype orb. Part of me wants to get a separate file just to mess with uh, cheat codes. That can always be fun. What wacky things can happen. How overpowered you can become. Royal gummy? What's a royal gummy? Dragon tie. Not what I was expecting. We're gonna buy some geo pebbles. Cause why not? I want more ammo. I'm gonna kill people. Who needs a gun when you have a rock? Protect, roost, escape, rainy. Nothing good for us. I love the music in this game. It's so good. It's just a vibe, man. Just a vibe. Just a vibe. Have all my money. You don't get any interest, and I don't think you use it. Are you even really a bank? You're just dead in here. You hold people's money. The door is still closed. There is no door. I do not believe you. Unless it's a door that looks like a hole in the ground of stairs. Well, let's go to the secret waterfall and pray to God that the, the crash doesn't happen. Secret waterfall! That's some nice waterfall graphics. It looks nice. So, this is the waterfall that supposedly has a secret. Yeah! I... Ah, the water's coming down hard. Try getting close to the waterfall, Neon. I want to laugh at your suffering. It's true. This is incredible. I can barely stay standing near this deluge. Yeah! See? It's intense. If you were to fall under this waterfall, you'd probably be battered. I didn't think it would be pouring down this powerfully. Where should we even start looking? Hmm. Something seems familiar. It's that dizziness I felt before. I like the effect of the, the scream. I think I know that. That's Wiggly Wolf. Wiggly Wog. He is stealing our treasure before us? 
Does that mean... Would that be... Because we've only seen things in the future. We've only had one cycle time scream. It happened again! I saw something. But what did I see? Huh? What's the matter, Neon? What? You got another vision? This time you saw a lone Pokemon leap into this waterfall? And not only that, there's a hidden cave behind the waterfall? <sighs> but it looks like that water is coming down heavily. Imagine if there actually was a solid cliff wall behind that waterfall. Ouch. If we tried to jump through, we'd be pounded badly. So, Neon. What do you think, Neon? Is there really something behind this waterfall? Honestly, if my hometown was able to have its own theme, I'd make it Treasure Town. Treasure Town's theme is just grand. Sometimes I wish we could have music for different places around the world. That would be interesting. It would basically be like grocery store over the sound system speakers music, but for like personalized theming. That would be neat. Are you really convinced that there is a cave there? Well, okay. I'm putting my faith in you, Neon. Yes, I totally believe in you. All right. Yikes. Okay, I gotta be brave now. If I get scared and fail to leap through at full speed, I'll be smushed no matter what I do. If I'm doing it, I have to do it without hesitating. Be brave. Be the bravest ever. Ready. Let's go, Neon. Three, two, one. Now! Wah! <laughs> and we survived. <laughs> ah. What is this? Yes, it's a cave! You're right after all, Neon! Let's go explore this cave! Let's see what secrets it holds! Ooh, this is some funky music! Oh no, it's a circuit! We have to kill him! Oh hey, it's a Tangler! This is some chill music. I like it. It's kind of more about the majesty of the mysterious waterfall cave rather than... Like, I don't even know. Ah, more Geopebble. Although there is kind of a... Bit of, like, a... Creepiness to it, but it's just like... It, it's also kind of majestical. It's, it gets interesting. Again, I like the music. The music's just nice in this game series so far. Again, I can't wait to get to, like, Gates to Infinity and Super Mystery Dungeon. Just, like, experience all of it. I want to experience all of it! Makes me wonder if there are any ROM hacks for, like, Gates to Infinity and Super Mystery Dungeon. A part of me says no, but at the same time... Who knows? Maybe I just need to go looking. But at the same time, I don't know. Hmm. There'll be something to look into, maybe. What the fuck? Glotad wants to join your team. Hmm. I guess I don't think is I don't think there's a limit to recruits we can have. So I guess sure, why not? What name shall we give you, Lotad? What name shall we give you? You use... We're gonna call you Rocky, because you used Rock Slide on me. I find it kind of amusing. A Pokemon, we find him in a dungeon, and they're like, Give me a name. Let me join your team. Just gotta be careful, cause they might just use up all our reviver seeds if we don't take good care of them. 
Oh, you bastard. Get out of here, you stupid fish. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Will you please die. Please die. Please die. Please die. Alright, so we have what looks like a fairy gummy in the shop. So I... It could have just been a poor spawn of an item in, like, the item registry that just freaked out, I guess. Could have just been a fluke. Weird that it happened twice. Then again, maybe it's not that weird. Because while the dungeon was still randomized for that second go-around... Oh, hey, a special band! Boost special attack, but I don't have any special attacks to use right now. We'll hold on to it, because right now I think my... My bow is better. My bow is the better, I believe. I honestly forget what... Oh, you bastard. How dare you put him to sleep? He's in danger. Even if he does look adorable, sleeping here in the middle of danger and getting beaten the fuck up. That would be a weird thing to say to your partner. You're like, oh, it was adorable how you were getting the shit kicked out of you while you were asleep. Quit mud slapping my boy. I have to get in the music, it's just so good. We gotta pick up any items we find. Gotta go. But again, I wouldn't be surprised if this was like a, a literal tutorial dungeon in universe. Like, the Wigglytuff Guild sends their new recruits to explore the same dungeon. It's kind because of, it, it would make sense. We're a new team, so it would make sense for them to go like make sure that you're like ready to take on. The dangers of an unknown dungeon. Give you experience going to a supposedly unknown place while feeling safe sending them there because you know that it's not too dangerous, not too unknown. But it also makes them feel good because it makes it feel like they get to go do something. Because, you know, they're doing an exploration guild. They actually get to go exploring. Sure, if they find out that it is a test, they might be like, Ah, you lied to me. But it might help build their character and motivations and stuff. Oh, you bastard. But I'm a dark type, aren't I? I'm already asleep. I'm already asleep. Leave me alone! Why did it want me asleep so bad? But I really want to see what typing am I? Again, I'm a fool. I'm a dark type, yeah. I guess hypnosis isn't psychic in this game. Or like, uh... No, is it psychic? Psychic type. <laughs> For a moment, Brian's just like, No, psychic is a move! It's also a typing. I am but a fool. Utter annihilation to that poor Tango. Ooh, what move can we doff learn? Fury Swipes. Inflicts damage on the target using two to five attacks in a turn. Bad hit ratio, but it's basically the same kind of attack, but it's like... Yeah, normal. Hmm. And it's only... But it would give me more attacks. There's special defense, of which I only have things of Leer, so... I guess we're gonna get rid of fake tears for now. Once Electivire comes up, we can 
remember moves, but Fury Swipes might be nice. Because at least that might give me something. So I don't just have Scratch alone to rely on. Ah, oh, more rocks. I need to throw more rocks at my enemies. Ah, oh, we're getting a bit hungry. Why'd I say it like that? Oh, we're getting a bit hungry. What the fuck? I just got hit out of nowhere. I'm like, what the fuck? Okay, that does a lot of damage. Interesting. Aesthetic. I don't know why I said that. I just remembered a YouTube video that I watched that used a small clip saying aesthetic again and again and again, and now it's just stuck in my head. Blame them. I forget exactly. Uh... <laughs> I have to do that to get them stacked. Interesting. And we do indeed need to eat a big apple. We need to eat you, Nork. You, Nork? What? I'm trying to say words and they're just coming out bad. I'm going mad. Then again, why wouldn't I want to get Fury Swipes? I'm a fool. Multi-hit moves are god in this game. Again, every single time I process that I'm going into a loading screen, the back of my mind goes, It could happen again. Because brain is just not helpful. My brain only exists to hurt me. I swear. Oh, another special. <laughs> we come to this this cave, and <laughs> we come to this cave, <laughs> and this normal dungeon has as many special bands as like those two missions that we have accepted. Missed. Uh, missed status, which prevents the user's attack from... Oh, yeah, let's get rid of it. It's, it's not that good, I don't think. I leveled up! Great! Again, that they all have portraits is amazing. How dare you bubble me! I hate bubbles! Die! And a level up for Silas! Great! I leveled up! HP went up, attack went up, defense went up, special attack, special defense! Please don't die, Rocky. Never mind, Rocky kicked ass. Good job, Rocky. Rookie! My brain always has the urge to sort my friend's untidy chests in Minecraft. I have spurts of that. Sometimes I'm just like, eh, screw it. But then I come back and my brain is like, you fool. You should have organized it. You should have done a good job from the outset. And then I'm just like, ah, well, hell, now I've got to deal with this. I'm like the, like the, the crossroads of, I don't want to deal with organizing it right now. But later on, I'm going to hate having it not organized. And it's just a frustrating existence. Oh, hey, a gummy. Hello, whooper. Would you like to die? Would you like... You, you motherfucker. You double motherfucker. What? Bastard. Noms. A twist band? It's a twist band. What the fuck? Main. I need more information. A held item that prevents the Pokemon's attack and special attack from being reduced. However, it does not protect against reductions that are due to the holder's moves, such as overheat. Huh. Kind of interesting, but at the same time, that's kind of sad, actually. 
Because wouldn't that be cool if you could actually go and, like, uh, essentially limit break? Sorry, no, we, we already have one extra person to look after. I don't want to risk going too far. I don't want a full four team to worry about. That's when it gets unruly. You motherfucker! I didn't mean to counter, but oh well. I was just going, I need to press buttons! And then it killed itself. I'm no longer culpable. What are the laws for wild Pokemon in dungeons? Because technically it's self-defense. They're taking they're coming at me. What do you mean? Why do I keep missing Pangle with my super attack? Help! I am now alone. Why are they obsessed with putting me to sleep multiple times in a row? It is very wooed. Very, very, very rude. I don't like the idea that I've been pounded by Grimer. Die. To hell with you. Rescind that abomination. All right, you're being a bother, aren't you? We need to get to that exit. Or I'm gonna have to use another one of me diddly -dees. Please don't go, man. Silas went the wrong way. They're all going the wrong way. I need to heal myself more than likely. Uh before, because I'm going to run into an enemy. And they're probably going to run into enemies as well. Let's get out of here. I do like that I don't have to worry about my entire team being with me. Oh, Max Elixir. It's an elixir made by a guy named Max. What a swell guy. Now that mix... With his mix elixir, I don't like it one bit. It's very bad. Poor construction. <laughs> They'll group them back together at the exit, which is a nice thing. It would be very bothersome if it was like Icewind Dale and Baldur's Gate, or Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 specifically. But like, you must gather your party before you can proceed. Which at least kind of makes sense for there, but like, from a... What's the word that I'm kind of looking for? An ease of player, quality of life thing. It is kind of nice. Are we at the end? Look at the sparkly jewels. Wow, look at that, Neon. Look at all the gym sparkling. Whoa, look over there. It's a gigantic gym. Wow, I've never seen a gym this huge! This is an incredible treasure! Everyone will be amazed if we take this back! I don't think you'll be able to. Silas tried. Silas tried to grab the giant gym. Nope, it's not budging. It's really stuck tight. Can you give it a try, Neon? Meanwhile, Rocky's just off in the corner. Neon took over and tried to pull the gigantic gem. Oh, this is really stuck. It won't budge. Uh, uh, nope, no good. So you couldn't move it either, Neon. But we can't just give up. If we try hard enough, we'll probably get some kind of result. I'm going to give it another go. Silas tried to pull out the gigantic gym again. It's not budging one bit. Uh huh? Oh no. 
It's happening again. It's... A scream. Ba -ba 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 -da. Ah, ah. How'd you know to magic it? Get washed away with the flood, idiot. But that was... <laughs> it's no good. I can't pull it out. Silas just happened to push the gigantic gem. Ah, that's... Huh? What's going on? It's the flood! <laughs> well, that's what he said. Ah, it's a flood! You tried to run away. Ah! You fool. Ah, it's like a theme park. Ah! We were that far up in the sky. How did we... Well, I guess we, we, it sounded like we water, landed in water. So it's not really secret after all. Huh? What? Where are we? Hi, hi. Are you two okay? You plopped down from nowhere. Oh, you startled everyone. Where are we? This is the hot spring. Hot spring? Oh, it's a torkel. Indeed, this is the hot spring. The hot spring works wonders on tired muscles and creaky joints. Many Pokemon visit here. Tell me, youngster, have you got a map? Map? Oh, if you mean our wonder map, yeah, we have one. Unfold it for me. There, we are here. This is the hot spring's location. Oh, well, I see. The waterfall's here, so... Hey, check this out, Neon. The water carried us all the way over here. My goodness! It was the water that carried you all this way. What a long journey that must have been. Let the hot spring wash away your fatigue before you make your way home. Good idea. We'll do that. Thanks, everyone. That's like a, that's a sweet little adventure. Would you like to save your adventure? Interesting. Shotot would be like, where were you? We got swept away. Hmm, let me see if I got this all straight. Behind the waterfall, there is a cave. In the deepest part of the cave, there's a gigantic gym. When you push the gym, it triggered a trap of some kind, and surprisingly, you have flushed off to the distant hot spring. Is that the gist of your report? Yeah, it's really disappointing that we couldn't bring the gym back. <laughs> no, 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 emphatically no. This is a major discovery. Really? Undoubtedly. After all the presence of the cave behind the waterfall, no one knew about that before now. I feel like we're gonna have the reveal that it actually has been known. I, and uh, and Silas is gonna get very disappointed. I see. We made a discovery. When I had those dizzy spells, the shadow of that Pokemon I saw. Who are you, Shadow Pokemon? Who is your identity? Of course we already know. That shape. I've seen that shape before. That shape. There's no mistaking it. The demon! That was Wigglytuff! Oh, so we're going to break the illusion for poor Silas. Oh, no. Oh, what a full discovery. It's just amazing. The Guildmaster must be told. What? What's wrong, Neon? I think he already knows. Huh? You're saying Wigglytuff may have been at that waterfall before? No, 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 emphatically no! That's inconceivable! If that were so, the Guildmaster wouldn't have ordered you to investigate the place, right? Hmm, however, since you wouldn't see us, I will confirm it with the Guildmaster. Yeah, but why would they want to spoil their own discovery? How strange. I should be used to it by now. These apprentices are yet another strange crew, aren't they? Huh. At first I thought that he was referring to Wigglytuff, say, with the they. But instead he might be referring to us like, why would they want to ruin their own discovery? What was that, chat up? What? Oh, nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Anyway, I will go confirm what you told me with the Guildmaster. 
Please wait here. How'd it go? When I asked the guildmaster, he mulled it over for a bit, and then he said, Oh, memories. Sweet memories. You... Then he danced around a bit, and then he said, Yes, yes, when I think hard, maybe I did go there once. And that's what... And that's just what the guildmaster said. To sum it up, it's just as Neon suspected. He has indeed already been to Waterfall Cave. Oh... Okay, that's kind of disappointing. Uh, we really thought we'd discovered a new place. I wish Wiggly Tuff had told us right from the start. The Guildmaster can be rather erratic at times. Even I can't quite fathom what goes on in his head. Well, that's too bad for you. Nevertheless, I shall expect your best effort tomorrow. Uh, I feel like Chatot could have handled that a bit better, saying like... Like, it doesn't matter if the Guildmaster had already been there before. You still made sure that it was safe, interesting, and passed on new information. It was a learning experience, was it not? That was a nice look at the moon. Uh, today was exhausting. I should get sleep early. <sighs> we went through a lot today. But you know what? It was incredibly fun for me. Sure, there was that huge letdown, but it was our first exploration. I thought I was going to explode from excitement and anticipation the whole time. It made me realize I made the right decision in joining an exploration team. One day, I'm sure I'll solve the secret of my relic fragment. That's the day, that's the dream I have. If it ever came true, I'd surely faint from sheer happiness. <laughs> But seriously, thanks. I can explore because of you, Neon. Yeah. Be brave. Be the bravest ever. I'm the biggest chicken around, and even I managed to work up the courage. It was all because of you. You were with me, Neon. Seriously, thanks. Oh, yeah! You know, I was thinking, I noticed something about your dizzy spells, Neon. You always seem to be touching something when they happen. I guess we touched the waterfall, and then we touched the gym, so kind of, yeah. <laughs> Morale is out the window. Only a little bit. Come to think of it, Silas is right. When I heard Azuril scream... I picked up the apple. We're sorry to bother you. Thank you so much. And that other time... It was because Drowsy bumped into me. Whoops. Excuse me. And we were exploring Ca Waterfall Cave. I got blasted by the waterfall. Wah! Can you give it a try, Neon? It's true. It's always it was always after touching something. That's when I get those dizzy spells. When I touch something, I see something connected to it. Right? There's one more thing. When we rescued Azuro, you had a vision of the future. But this time you saw Wigglytuff going into that cave, right? So that means this time you saw an event that occurred in the past. Th that's true. In other words, Neon, if you touch something, you can see its past or future. You must have some kind of special ability. <laughs> this could be something totally incredible. You could use it in lots of ways. Only if I can control it. <laughs> and hello there, YouTube chat. We are continuing fun adventures. Even if we run some technical difficulties. Again, I'm just, I'm enjoying the characters here. Like, as much as I do enjoy, like, the partner from rescue team the like we are all we already have so much character and story and we haven't even done anything major yet it's just nice that there's like so much personality and character in this ver this version it's very fun not just for exploring either the ability could be used useful for many things it's fantastic neon well yes i guess that's true 
That doesn't mean I always get a vision every time I touch something. It would be useful if I could have visions when I wanted, but... Hey, you two! The Guildmaster wants to see you right away! That's interesting, this is new. <laughs> I love the gleeful smile on Rialu. It lives in my heart. It is a very, very... Look, the art, the art is very good. Guildmaster, I brought you Team Lost Light. Uh, Guildmaster? Guildmaster? Hiya! Your team went through a lot of trouble today. Yes, a lot, lot. But don't worry. I'm keeping watch on your activities. I should tell you why I called you here. We're planning to mount a full expedition soon. An expedition? Yes, the guild will go explore someplace far away. It's much harder than exploring a nearby area. That's why we need to prepare for the big trip properly. We carefully choose which guild members go on the expedition. Really? Usually we would never, ever consider rookies to be expedition members. But you two are working so very hard. That's why we're making a special exception this time. We decided to include you in the list of candidates for the expedition. Really? Now, now, you haven't been chosen as expedition members yet. There's still time before we set out on the expedition. If you fail to do good work before then, you cannot expect to be selected for the expedition. Why do I feel like something bad's gonna happen? And we're not gonna get a go on the field trip. Evil's gonna come. I've been watching you play Pokemon Coliseum. This is the first time I've seen you live. Thank you very much. That was a fun game. A bit of wonkiness, but I liked it. And yeah, Mystery Dungeon. Mystery Dungeon's fantastic. I'm sure you two can do it. Try hard. Yes. An expedition, isn't it fantastic, Neon? My heart is pounding all of a sudden. Let's try our best to make sure we get picked for the expedition. Yeah. Oh, look at the happy smile on the Zorua. Oh no. I think bad things are going to happen. Chapter 6. Team Skull. The next morning. Up and at him! It's morning! Uh, good morning, Neon. Would you like to save your adventure? Yes, I would. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Well, I guess we could do, like, the low-level dungeon exploration thing. So we'll probably get a Hey, Go Here story mission, but we'll do just a little bit of level grinding and, like, exposition stuffy on our own. And then I think we'll that'll be it. <coughs> As I was explaining, there's a lake far to the east. There are many aspects of that lake that remain mysterious. We hope to unravel those mysteries. And so, our guild is planning to mount an expedition for the first time in a while. An expedition, you say? Yes, please. Yes, sorry. It's been a long time since we went on an expedition. But that means you're going to be picking members for the expedition from all of us again, right? Precisely. We'll depart in several days. Over those next few days, we will choose the most worthy apprentices. The chosen members will form the expedition party. Everyone, work hard so that you may be chosen for the expedition. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Yep, yep. I've yet to go on an expedition. I'd truly love to go this time. Please work at it and get picked as members. All right, everyone. It's back to work as usual. Hooray! Ah, you two. Today, I want you two to check the job bulletin board and the outlaw notice board and handle their list of jobs. And that will do for now. So unless something uh, crops up, I wonder if anybody will be saying things. Hmm. All right, look sharp, Diglett. Let's do a good job again today, Loudred. Nope, I think they're just normal, normal. Oh no! I see you, you bastards over there. So today they want us to work on the jobs listed on the job bulletin board and the outlaw notice board. Let's try to do as many jobs as we can. Then we'll have to pick. Uh, they'll, then they'll have to pick us for the expedition party. Let's go check now, Neon. Look, those Pokemon. Hey! 
You two! Uh, huh? That duo? Uh, Wait, haven't we seen you before? Uh, Whoa! Don't you think you're so awesome? Your victory was a fluke! Uh, yeah, you just remember that! I, I remember! There are those two crooks who stole my relic fragment! What are they doing here? Whoa! I'll have you know that we're an exploration team too! <laughs> What's so funny about an exploration team checking out the job bulletin board? What? You're an exploration team? That's right! Though the way we operate isn't always by the book. But what a surprise! Why would you be here? We wanted to become exploration team members. That's why we're trained for at this guild. What? You want to become a real deal exploration team member? You, come with us for a sec. What is that? Now, don't take what I'm about to say the wrong way. You should just forget about being an exploration team. What? Why? Well, you're timid. You scare easy. A scaredy cat like you can't cut it on an exploration team. B but... It's true that I'm timid. But that's why I'm in training. So I can overcome my own shortcomings. Even now, I'm working hard to be picked for the guild's expedition. Oh? An expedition, you say? <laughs> well, effort only gets you so far. You won't get picked for that expedition party if you don't have talent, right? It all comes down to talent. Pure talent. B big talk. You sure talk a lot about talent, but what kind of skills do you have? You were so weak, we even beat you. Whoa. Well, we didn't have the chief with us. Ch chief? <laughs> That's right. Team Skull, our exploration team, has three members. Our chief is incredibly talented. To put it bluntly, he's brutally tough. <laughs> if the thief, if, if the thief, if the chief were around, we'd snap you like a twig. Whoa, speaking of the chief, I can smell him coming now. Smell? Here's the chief! Move out of the way! What a jerk! Neon! Ah, what's that awful stench? Hey, it reeks like like rotten cheese! That is foul, yes, Cherie! Hey, hey, my eyes are burning! Move it, or do you want to end up like that wimp over there? Oh, no. Chief! You show them, Chief! You're the best! Yeah, yet yeah, whatever. So, you two, did you snap out any jobs that'll bring in the cash? The job bulletin board only posted cheap tasks, but... There's something else, Chief. It's got the potential to go big. Psst, 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 psst. What? An expedition from the guild! What does sound tasty? Doesn't it? Let's get out of here. We need to do some plotting. Come on, we're going. Yeah. What are you all staring at? This isn't a public performance. <laughs> See you around, wimps. I'm a person who likes to serve justice, and Team Skull wanted to also not play by the book. Oh, well, I'm sure we'll murder them someday. Are you okay, Neon? I suffered greatly. Great, it doesn't look like you're injured. That sure was rough, though. I couldn't work out the courage to challenge him to his face. Even though he hurt you, Neon. I'm ashamed of myself. They're right. I'm a wimp, a big chicken. I could... No, we're not gonna do that. I'm not a mean person. You're not a wimp. Thanks for trying to cheer me up. But, but I really am a wimp. Uh, but it's nothing new for me. I've decided that I can still do my best even if I'm not very brave. I'm not going to give up over something like this. I'm going to be cheerful and keep trying. 
Thank you, Neon. For now, we'd better keep working like we've been doing. Today, we're supposed to handle the jobs on the job bulletin board and the outlaw notice board. Let's keep at it. <laughs> I'm just saying I like to fight on equal footing, so if I wanted to fight fire, fire, I would. <laughs> Imagine if we could jump them. Let's see, because uh, we do have a few drenched bluffs already. We could go, go do a waterfall cave, but I don't think so. Let's see, what kind of outlaw notice board stuff do we have? Lonely Mount Bristle and Diddly Dees. We'll talk to everyone first. Ew, what an eye-watering stink cloud. No, don't go. Don't you all look at me like that. Gosh, he's not nice to stare. By golly, I tell you, it has nothing to do with me, no siree. Hey, 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 those guys we're talking with. They look like some rough customers, hey? I wonder why we had such an awful stench in our guild. It's a mystery. Yeah. Well, I think we shall go do... Well, we'll grab that just because we can. But we could deliver... I think we'll do the drenched bluff. We'll need to take the Rostberry and bring maybe an extra big apple if we can. Oh, hey! Why not in Mobafet? Oh, a customer, is it not? Good day, is it not? The new shop, Spindus Cafe, is now open! This wonderful shop is overflowing with hopes and dreams, is it not? Hopes and dreams? That's right! Hey, why not come on in? Don't be shy! I don't really know about this. Want to find out? We have two guests! Then we get mugged in there. <laughs> Grind the gummies. Wow, this is a big place. <laughs> now let's see if I can do the voice for Spinda. Oh, hello and welcome to Spinda's Cafe. My name is Spinda. I'm the owner of this cafe. This is a cafe for explorers who enjoy finding new things every day and who are constantly challenging themselves. A cafe for explorers? That's right. It's natural to want to refresh yourself with a hearty, delicious drink after exploring. So we are delighted to provide this service to explorers and we trust it will bring them happiness. Today is our grand opening. Allow me to show you around the premises. Oh, bother. This is the juice bar. You've undoubtedly collected gummies and apples during your explorations, am I right? Here, those edibles can become delicious drink sensations. I, Spinda, will take your ingredient and use my incredible skills to create a delectable drink for you. Really? So if we brought you an apple, you'd make some apple juice? Is that what you're saying? That's right. That is exactly right. That's how it works. While you're enjoying a nutritious drink, you can sit back and share exploration stories. Here's the next facility. This is the centerpiece of our place, the Recycle Shop. I'll bet you have a bunch of items in storage that you picked up in your travels and have little use for, am I right? Sometimes you have to throw out your extra items to make room. Doesn't that seem wasteful? There could be explorers and dungeons out there who are in desperate in need, in need of the very things you have locked in storage. <laughs> that was very, very dramatic. That's what we thought too. That's why we established this facility. You can bring your extra items here and trade them for items you want. How does that sound? One Pokemon's trash is another Pokemon's treasure, am I right? I thought it would be fun for explorers to gather and trade items with one another. You'll never have to throw out another item. You'll never have to say, what a waste. That's my goal. So if you've got a collection of items you don't need, please make use of our recycle shop. You can even get a bonus prize ticket when recycling items. It's a lot of fun. I know that was a whirlwind tour, but I hope you've got an idea of what kind of place this is. Oh, it seems like a really fun shop. Thank you very much. 
It is my goal to have a cafe of hopes and dreams where many explorers can gather. I hope to see you again soon here at Spenda's Cafe. Well, let's talk to everyone. My mind! It seems like a good idea to trade in unused items you've collected for something you want. I've got too many orange berries, so I've been trade thinking of trading them in. <laughs> There's a new scent. He seems like very simple. Wow, this shop is incredible! It's like a paradise for explorers! Hey, Rocky, you're here! What will we find this time? I had collected a bunch of apples, so I had drinks made. The drinks were so fresh and juicy and delicious, but that was it. I thought my belly would be filled and my HP be stored. It seems like a drink made from an apple or an orange berry has no effect. Well, at any rate, it was delicious, so I'm not too disappointed. I wonder if there's an effect when you use a gummy. If you bring in a favorite ingredient, you can have a delicious drink made. What should I do? I should splurge and have a drink made with my yellow gummy. I don't think we have any gummies on us. Oh, we have a blue gummy. Hello! Welcome to my recycle shop! Where is everybody should be at? Nip dip it. Trade requirement 4, but I'm held 66. What does that mean? List required item for trade. Interesting. Ah. Definitely come back. What about you? I guess the... Did you try asking why not over there? <laughs> I guess the, the Wobbuffet doesn't say anything. Except that's right. Oh, Neon. Were you just at the cafe? Perfect timing. The truth is, I have something to ask you. In the past, when you wanted to take m team members when you w uh, with you to explore, they waited for you at this watering hole. But now that the cafe is just open, everyone's been saying they'd like to wait while ra relaxing at the cafe. I completely understand that. I mean, I understand how they feel. So, Neon, what do you think? Would you like to meet up with your team members? Yes. Thank you, Neon. I'll make sure to let everyone know. I'm sure everyone will be happy to hear that. Oh, I almost forgot. I placed a secret signpost here. Uh, do you see it? Yes. Of course you would. You must have rung the bell because your team has assembled here already. As you know, when you ring this bell, I come here from the guild. You can still assemble your exploration team here. So when you want to assemble your team, just ring this bell. That's all, Neon. Good luck exploring. Again, the characters in this are just so nice. There's a lot more emotion to the story. Or I guess I should say it's a lot more intricately done as a story. Because, like, again, the ending of Rescue Team still made me cry the first time I played it, and really made me tear up every single time I played it after. But, like, the... Everything here, the world characters, it all seems, like, very nice. We're gonna take our money out. And see about maybe buying things. I've heard that Time Gear of Tree Shot Forest was taken. Because of that, time has stopped in Tree Shroud Forest. There's been so much horrible news lately, it's discouraging. Stealing time gears is unthinkable. Who would go around stealing them? God. An Electivire is still not here. We have no motivation at all. Why do we even bother forming an exploration team? We're Team Slacker. We're the exploration team without any motivation. You already said that once. First things first, what things do we want to put into the storage? Hmm. Store all that. Quickly check. Kecleon Bros. The guild is preparing for an expedition soon. Please do try to be chosen members. We've got gray gummy, green gummy, red gummy, lots of gummies. 
and gravel rock. I wonder what's different from Geo. A weapon to be thrown when thrown it flies in an arc. It is not affected by pierce or long toss statuses. I wonder what that means. This game's ending made me cry so much because it was a uh, crypt to my heart because of uh, uh, the youngest brother in my family. Seeing everyone else leave was upsetting to me. So it was like extra damage. Oof. But at least it like emotionally connected with you. And I think he was saying things and I missed it. Darn it. Ah, bullet seed. What the hell? Too bad you can't learn that, <laughs> Silas. Let's see. Quickly at the job listing. Uh, we do need a Rost Berry, but I also want to bring things in for that ticket. Alright, we need a Rost Berry. We need a Rost Berry. First, I want to make sure, because we should have Rost in here somewhere. Sworn we had a Ross Berry. Am I dumb? Am I missing you? Well, I guess we can always buy the Ross Berry. I could have sworn that we already found one, though. I am but a fool. Oh, wait. I think. I'm, I'm like a triple fool, I think. Let me quickly check my job thing again. Nope, there is still the Deliver Ross Berry. And I do believe deliver specifically means you have to have it on your own. Wrong thing. I want to take out. Brain goes too fast for normal things. Okay, let's look at pink gummy. You should be poison. Yep, poison type. Gold gummy. Psychic type. Blue gummy, water type. Purple gummy, ghost type. Another blue. Orange gummy, fighting type. I'm going to take that and see if we can have a juice made for our boy. What does the Life Seed do? I believe it raises a level. Where is the Life Seed in here? Life Seed. Oh no, that's Joy Seed. Well, where's Life Seed? I think then that might be the one that simply... No, because Life Seed. Boost maximum HP! Thank you for pointing that out. I am completely dumb. I missed that mine. Oh, that reminds me. The Citrus Berry. Where are you? Because you're in here somewhere. Oh, just restores HP, but probably to a greater degree. It will also boost maximum HP a bit, but uh, probably only temporarily. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, wait, I forgot. I also wanted to maybe take some items that I'm, like, never going to use. Like some of these blast seeds and warp seeds. Turn some of these in. I wonder if I can just take a single stick. <laughs> That'd be amusing if I could do that. Ah, oh, it's because I didn't select the stick. I am a fool. No, it doesn't look like I can split it. Oh, well. Now back to Spinda's Cafe. We'll turn in some items that we're not going to need for tickets. We want to recycle. And we'll take so any four. Yes. All right. 
Oh, it even goes into my storage. That's neat. Okay, that's cool. That's cool that it actually does that. And another blast seed. Yes. Here's your prize ticket. Do you want to redeem prize ticket for a prize now? Sure. Uh. Blue. Right, blue! Is it a win? Is it not? That's right! Is it so? That's not too bad. Well, here's your consolation prize. Eh, not bad, I guess. But interesting. Info. Give me an ingredient, and I will use it to make a wonderful, delicious drink for you. Not just for you, either. Any of your teammate members relaxing in the cafe can enjoy one of my nutritious drinks. Re please refresh yourself with a delicious drink and allow the flower of the flower conversation to bloom. Huh. Sure. Now this one... Orange. Give. Who will drink this? Silas is gonna drink it. Use orange gummy to make a drink for Silas? Yes, he's a good boy. Uh, added the orange gummy. That's right! Shake it this way. Shake it that. And stir it all around and it's done! I've got a good feeling about this drink. An indescribably wonderful flavor. A special blend for the discerning Pokemon. Ooh, went up significantly and special attack rose. Huh? What? IQ increased too! Awesome. Although I think now I'll drink a blue gummy myself. It won't do much for me because I am a dark type, but hey. For me. That's cool. This is a cool mechanic. This is nice. And it's done. Ooh, you got a good feeling about it. An indescribably wonderful flavor. A special blend for the discerning Pokemon. Went up. Ooh, and special attack rose. Interesting. Well, very nice. Definitely gonna save after that. But that actually took a long time. It also works of just not, uh, it also works of just not, uh, you know, great as the typing. Yeah. If you match the typing, you probably get super bonuses. But I wonder if we learned any. Like, check your IQ. Escapist? Info. The Pokemon has the power to let rescue targets escape a dungeon. Oh, this is an essential IQ skill for exploration teams. Interesting. I was wondering why he had that, and was like, why is that dead? Hmm, but Rocky seems to be stuck in my team. Can I make him go away? Oh, that's cool! It actually has a thing up there. God, I am, I'm dumb. I only have half a star. Stand by. I do kind of like that it keeps the team that you have so you don't have to constantly recruit them like in Rescue. I think it's not, uh, your one, it's not a guaranteed perfect. Ah, so I got lucky. I was wondering what that was. But it's still cool that if you have excess gummies, you can still get them anyway. If you're lucky, at least. But I do believe that that will be it for now because we've been going for three hours. And even though we ran into that weird like back to back like not it's not really a soft lock i think it was a, a hard, hard well i don't know it, it, the emulation hanged in mount bristle twice at different levels and i have no idea what caused it hopefully it was just a random thing would be loathsome if it happened in a story dungeon that would be painful <laughs> <laughs> eh, hell if I know, though, though. But, no, your your knowledge, perceived knowledge, is thankful, because that is, it makes sense. It makes sense that it would work that way, like, you could eat gummies, 
or you could take gummies there to get a boost. And if, if, if even if you aren't doing like the same type matchup, you, you still might get a cool thing out of it. Seems cool. <laughs> yeah, I must have spawned a fairy gummy for invalid. But the thing is, we actually ran into a fairy gummy that was in the store of a Kecleon in one of in the waterfall dungeon. So unless there's a weird thing where it's spawning a, a difference between the fairy gummy spawning in a Kecleon shop in a dungeon versus just spawning. But even then, it's weird that it happened twice in a row between two different iterations of Mount Bristle. So I don't know. It could have just been a weird thing with, like, the processing of the raw met there. So who knows? Hopefully it doesn't happen again. I might research things, maybe. But... Because we went through Mount Bristle, I think, four times now. Wait, no. Yeah, probably four times now, and we haven't... We only ran into it twice, so who knows. Don't forget about the live seed that boosts HP permanently. It is indeed in my diddly D. I don't know if we can eat it. Can we eat it here? I guess we can try. Nope, we can only give. Which is the equip button. Oh, I guess we can put away the scanner orb. But yeah, this is... I'm liking this. I like the things that they added to Sky. I'm not too sure if there's like a... Uh, because I never played Darkness and Time, so I don't know the differences, like, overall, between Darkness, Time, and then Sky. But I do really like the this as an upgrade to Rescue Team. Rescue Team is fun, but I like that this added, like, so much gameplay-wise. Not only, like, it added to story, it added to character, it added to gameplay. It's very nice. It means you can have, like, 999 HP if you really spend hours on hours. The power of grinding. But, yes, I do believe we will end it here. We've been going for three hours. Yeah, and aside from the little hang-ups we had at Mount Bristle, this is still very fun. Still very fun. I now I'm gonna have a panic attack each time I load through a dungeon for level, like, uh, floors, but... Yeah, again, the characters, the music, the, like, town-based gameplay. It's very fun. It's very fun. It's very engaging. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot, a lot of fun. But for those who are watching stream and want to know when, we, when and where what we will be streaming next, the next stream should take place on Wednesday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. We should be playing more Ace Attorney Trilogy, the third game, and I believe it is the final case, the final episode. We'll finally be getting to the trial portion, so I don't know how long this one will be. It could be that we go trial portion, investigation, trial portion, or it could be that, but then another investigation, another trial portion, who knows? It, it could always be very long. Sometimes the cases go for a long time. I don't think they'd go for super long on this one. I think they might have learned from the previous ones, but who knows? It'll be fun to see. I, I, I estimate two more streams for Ace Attorney, and then I'm just going to dedicate all my time to playing this, because this is fun. So yes, Wednesday, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time will be the next stream. And then, for other things for me, if you want anything and everything that I do, I have a link tree. linktr.ee slash neoniceywings. Also found in links, well, link places, descriptions, and bios of all the various sites. So you can find all the various sites that I do things at. So if you want to see edited content from me, I'm currently working on a script for my YouTube channel. Neon Icy Wings, the main channel for edited scripted content, reviews, rambles, things like that. Countdowns, the classics. And then for anything else like streaming, I have the Neon Icy Games YouTube channel where also all these streams get posted afterwards. And the Neon Icy Wings Twitch channel. So if you want to watch streams on YouTube or Twitch, you can. For other things, 
Also, like in my link tree, all the places that I post art, like my little character in the corner, like Twitch. No, Twitch. I don't, I don't. You can't post art to Twitch. That's cursed thoughts. But Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, tons of places. So many places. The internet's fracturing into hell. But also, resources to read my writing, because I'm writing. Writing is fun. I need to write more. Lots of story ideas locked up in my head. And of course, if you want to... If you want to be kind and nice, and if you're affluent, you can throw a dollar do my way to ease the suffering and the darkness of the world uh, through my Patreon. Yes. <laughs> uh, then Friday Pokemon Mystery Dungeon? Yep. On Because I'm alternating right now between Ace Attorney and Mystery Dungeon until I finish Ace Attorney. Then I'm going to focus on Mystery Dungeon because I'm, I'm having a blast with it. Because <laughs> uh, you didn't say you might alternate between them. Yep, yep. Because right now, that's my goal. I Because, like, there's always the possibility I can change what I want to stream, like, stream to stream. But I always try to keep my word to what I'm streaming next, so as not to, like, lie to people. <laughs> but yes, next time, Ace Attorney. Then on Saturday, more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. And I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye.